everyone welcome back happy tuesday i'm sorry i did not stream yesterday we'll talk about it we've had a long couple of days <laughs> there's been so much going on recently but hi welcome um it's good to see you all we're gonna play the not so berry challenge today um which frankly i'm i'm a little bit stressed about because look at this i just loaded in i forgot that we had a baby so we've got two toddlers and a newborn so that'll be interesting <laughs> as we try and navigate this but Anyway, hi everyone. Welcome, welcome, welcome. Tara, thank you for the 43 month resub. Thank you so much. You also hate infants, really? Yeah. Yeah. I'm sure it'll be fine. It'll be fine. <laughs> You're watching my POTS legacy, are you, Summer? This is that family, just in case you didn't know. Um, but like, way down the line. <laughs> way down the line. This one is, um, this is Gen 19, technically, of this save. So that's where we're at right now. Also, yeah, uh, the clocks changed in the US over the weekend, so I might be live at a different time for you if where you live did not change their clocks. I, I maybe am a little bit early. Um, <laughs> but this is normal time for me. I stream at 4 Eastern time every day, so that's kind of where we're at. <laughs> Thought today was Monday, you're so glad it's not? Yeah. Yesterday was like the Mondayest Monday of all Mondays for me. Get this. So I've, I've been talking about this, like we knew this was gonna happen, but our, our air conditioner, she's out. She finally tapped out. Um, so we had to pay to get a new air conditioner put in. Yesterday, um, the person came out to look at it and like to give us a quote and stuff for it. Um, that's why I didn't stream, because they had to be in here, in my closet, to get into them, like the thingies in there, the, I don't know what it's called, the big metal boxes that are inside are in there. <laughs> so I couldn't stream because there was a man in my office. I'm not gonna sit here talking about the Sims when there's a guy right there in my office in the closet. Um, anyway, <laughs> we knew that the air conditioner was on its last leg. When we bought the house, the inspector was like, yeah, this one's, it's not looking good. Like. You're going to have to replace this real soon. Um, so we knew it was going to happen. Over the summer, we got a different quote from somebody, but then it got colder, so we didn't. it wasn't as big of a deal. Um, but anyway, it's time. So we're buying a new one. They're coming tomorrow to put it in, which was faster than I thought was going to happen, but they're going to do it tomorrow. So get this. Tomorrow, they're, go they're going to be here at 8 a.m. tomorrow morning. I cannot stream in here tomorrow morning when there's a guy in here. So I think I'm going to stream from Dan's office tomorrow. Um, so we'll see how that goes, because <laughs> he's gonna have to be in here. <laughs> um, in here and also outside, obviously, but like when they're inside, they're gonna be in here. And we're getting a new thermostat, because it comes with one, and it's like a smart thermostat. So that's cool. Um, at least we have that. I've never like had a smart thermostat in real life, but I guess it makes sense that like when you buy a new air conditioner in 2024, it comes with a smart thermostat. Like, I'm not surprised by that, I guess, but yeah, it's, it's gonna have like a fancy thermostat. So, ooh, whoa, so cool. <laughs> um, I think I'm gonna like having one, but the, the AC that we have here is like 20 years old. So um, there's no smart thermostat. We could have put one, I guess, but I didn't, so. Um, yeah, everybody talks about how cool they are. So I don't know, I'm looking forward to it. <laughs> um, I'll let you know how that goes. Uh, but tomorrow should be interesting. It's supposed to take apparently like all day to install it, the, the AC, which I guess makes sense. Um, but yeah, I'll let you know how it goes. <laughs> we'll see, we'll see. Yeah, all day, I don't know. They have like all kinds of stuff to do. They have to put like a new concrete slab in outside and stuff too. And then he was talking about like, something about like braces for it because of the hurricane so that the AC unit doesn't blow away. I mean, I guess that makes sense, but I didn't really think about that. So they, I guess it's like a big process that it takes a long time. So, yikes. <laughs> Sounds expensive. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. You have no idea. <laughs> we knew we were going to have to do it, but it's still not pleasant, you know? <laughs> But anyway, um, I was seeing some people in the chat asking why I'm live early, so I'll say it again. Uh, the clocks in the US changed on sat on Sunday, sorry. Um, so it's, it's still the same time for me, but our clocks changed and maybe yours didn't. Um, so yeah, <laughs> uh, it's, it'll be early. I think Europe changes your clocks on like the 31st. Um, so we have a couple weeks of the stream being um, 
at kind of a weird time for some people. I always post the stream schedule in the Discord and it, it updates to like your local time, which is pretty helpful. So um, anyway, that's the update. <laughs> Let me try and catch up with some subs and then we can play some Sims, yeah? Uh, Panda and Lady and Hitch and Kissy, Grello, Tia, uh, we got Papa and Madison and Di and Morty, Layla, Radical, Lonely, Age and Bree and Kristen and Rustic and Happy and Llamas and Kale and Little and Sarah and Breen and Megan and Holly and Mandy and Sweet and Chloe and, and Megumi and Midnights and Introvert and Unif and Gales and Tenebris and Amy. We also got Matt and Avery and Ella and Hazy. Oh my goodness, how long did I talk about air conditioners for? <laughs> I'm sorry that I missed all these. Uh, Blueberry, Laura, Buzz, the Bee, Hartwell, uh, Ember and Meg and Blair and Teed and Bethany and, and uh, we got Pepe and Bentley. Two Bentleys, wow. Oh no, Bethany and Bentley, sorry. That was me. I didn't do a very good job reading those. Puff, Tara, thank you so much. I think I'm caught up now. <laughs> I think we're good. Okay, let me catch you up to speed with the household that we're playing in. Um, this is our Not So Berry challenge, which is like a legacy challenge where all of the different generations are like a different color theme. The house looks weird from the outside because the plants look weird in the winter, so ignore it. Uh, but we're on the green generation, which may be obvious to you upon looking at the house and everything. <laughs> um, this is my sim, their name is Moss. Um, they have a wife named Alphaba. She's green too because- <gasps> Action shot. <laughs> she's green too, um, but she's a spellcaster. <laughs> um, <laughs> mid jump, look at that, that's pulp. Um, Anyway, she's a green spellcaster, and they have three kids. Their kids are part of the blue generation. Um, their names are Denim, that's that one. Jort, who's stuck, uh-oh. Um, <laughs> sorry, Jort. Um, and, and also the newest one, Smurf, is kind of what we're working with. Uh, we also have a cat named Broccoli and a cat named Tofu, and then of course, you know, Pulp. So um, that's kind of the situation. <laughs> Bookworm Rose, and I'm Nat with the rain. Hello, Belgium, Ox, Spring. Thank you so much. Um, didn't Tofu run away last time? Yeah, but Tofu's back. It happens. They go and they come and there was stuff. Yeah, short is in jean short. Yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. A third kid. I've missed it. Yeah, this one's new. I think it was born like right at the end of my last stream. Um, so it's, uh, it's a fresh baby, if you will. <laughs> It's a fresh baby. <laughs> Pulp is the infamous dog. Yeah, yeah, yeah. If you've heard me talk about my scary dog, it's almost certainly this one. Wait, wait, wait. I know it's really dark. You can't really see, but that's a good one. Will you ever let Pulp age and then eventually, you know? No! Pulp can't die. That's ridiculous. How could you even say that? <laughs> go, go, Donnie, go. Thank you for the subs. Um, is he in every generation? Yeah, we've been giving Pulp age down treats so that she never dies on me. Um, but anyway, that's the update. I think we should be, uh, caught up now. Oh my god, I killed my sharks again! I'm gonna deal with that later. I can't bring myself to deal with that right now. That has to be a problem for later. Let me take care of the babies. One thing at a time. One thing at a time. Pulp has been alive for over a year in real life. Uh, last week we celebrated the one year anniversary in real life of me adopting Pulp. So, yeah, Pulp's never gonna die. <laughs> Pulp's gonna be around forever. <laughs> Michelle, thank you for the four month resub. And Moo, thank you for the seven months. And Little, thank you for the thousand bits. Uh, Kruger as well. And, and Gamer Life with the resubs. Thank you so, so much. Um, what am I gonna do when Not So Berry ends? Oh, here, okay, listen. Let's talk about this. I get asked about this a lot. I'm gonna tell you guys this in confidence. You aren't allowed to tell anyone else, okay? And when people ask and I'm not answering them next time, you have to not, you have to understand that I told you a secret, okay? I think I'm gonna write a new Sims challenge, but the reason it's a secret is because I'm gonna put it as like a charity incentive on my St. Jude fundraiser. So you have to be like, oh my God, I'm so surprised. Okay. So you're not, you can't repeat this. It's a secret. I told you this in confidence to a couple of my closest friends. All right. <laughs> but you, when we find out about it, you have to be like, oh wow, this is so interesting and a surprise. Okay. <laughs> Your lips are sealed. 
until May. <laughs> you understand? <laughs> Um, so anyway, keep it a secret, but I'm, I'm probably gonna like, as it gets closer to May, I'm gonna start not answering people when they ask me that, probably. Um, so that it can be a surprise, but I'll tell you now, because we have time, you know? <laughs> but what secret? I didn't tell you anything just then. There was no secret. What, you want me to be an actor? No, what? No, 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 no. Alright, I'm gonna have- get off my computer! What do you think you're doing? You could probably go take a nap. And I'll have Moss come use the computer. They need to make a video game. Um, we promise to forget by then. Cut that out of the VOD. Could you imagine? <laughs> okay, program, make your mobile app, yeah? All right, we're getting somewhere. Did you not sleep? She just got out of the bed so she could pass out. Can I ask you why you're why you did that? Like, what is the- why? What's the benefit? So you're walking into the baby's room to then pass out on the floor. It's for dramatic effect. I guess that makes sense. <laughs> Peach, teacher, ND, econ, thank you for the subs. Oh, toddlers make no sense. All right, let's have this one come eat something on the floor too. And then I guess I'll send it to bed. Um, I'll talk to this bear and then you can sleep. Don't go downstairs! Don't go downstairs! If you go downstairs, I'm gonna cry. Okay, no, we're fine. All right, everyone's gonna take care of their needs. Everything's fine. I think we should be good now. All right. I think, I also saw somebody ask earlier, um, who's gonna be the heir. We haven't 100% decided yet, but I personally am really leaning towards Jort. That's this one. I'm, the, the name Jort is really inspiring to me. Um, it's just, it's so special that I don't know if we could ever not use Jort as the heir. Um, so I, I think that Jort seems to be the popular opinion choice, but we have a little bit of time to decide. Um, we can probably wait a little bit longer until they become, like, children. Um, is she wearing Jorts? She does wear Jorts a lot, but not right now because it's cold out. Um, but anyway, would I still do this challenge if you weren't a streamer? This one? Like the Not So Berry challenge? Um, I did write it, and I wrote it before I stream. So, I'd say yeah, because <laughs> I did make it. <laughs> um, but, um, I don't know. I'm, yes, <laughs> I made it for me originally, so. I would like to think that I would. Yeah, I wrote this in 2017 before I started streaming. I did have a YouTube channel at the time, but I never made, uh, like, I uh, didn't play it on YouTube. I had, like, at the time, this was, like, a different era of Sims YouTube. Um, at the time, people liked to do this, oh, mobile app, we'll get here, hold on. At the time, people liked to do these things they would call current households, um, where you would, like, make a video update about the save that you were playing in, off camera. Um, so I would do, like, occasional updates like that about my not so very sims but i didn't have a youtube series that i was playing it with um, and i kind of stopped making my current household videos um anyway what would if you were moss and you made a game like a mobile game what would you call it do we have any ideas something green themed frogs oh something about frogs Plants vs. Zombies? <laughs> we can call it Plants vs. Zombies. That is pretty green themed. We'll probably write another game soon, so... Okay, now you want to have spent 100 hours on the computer, which is gonna take a long time to get to that point. So wish us luck, I guess. Alright, Moss, you come use the bathroom. Then we can do some cooking. Pocket frogs! <gasps> Remind me, the next game we're making is called Pro Pocket Frogs. That's good. Oh, I sent everybody to bed on Christmas. That's my bad. Here, I'll make some tofurkey. Is there- do I have a decor box anywhere? I must have put it- yeah, yeah, here. 
put up some decorations on the house too so they can be happy. Um, okay, nice. <laughs> Lorana, Ali, thank you for the resubs. Marissa with the 78 months, that's a scary big number. <laughs> Um, and Cassidy, and Jonesy, and Vance, and Jessica, thank you for the subs. I loved pocket frogs. I was truly obsessed with pocket frogs when I was young. I can't even begin to express to you how much I loved pocket frogs. I know it wasn't just me. Um, but yeah, I loved pocket frogs. <laughs> that was a good one. You just impulse downloaded pocket frogs. Pink Spring Frog just impulse downloaded pocket frogs. It was a game where you would like, you would like breed frogs. So, has it barely changed? Maybe I should play it again. Maybe I'd have fun with that. Are Moss's siblings still alive? Yeah, thankfully Moss's siblings are still alive. We're, we're going strong there. All of them. Even the alien ones. I am the absolute last thing I want to do is be a detective. Oh my god, I did that last gen. I don't want to do that again. <laughs> Whoa. Shar, Emo, and Lorana, and Ellie, thank you for the subs. <sighs> uh, Moss's dad did die, yeah. We we um had a rough time last stream. We had a baby and then our dad died. I'm not that worried about it though. I don't really feel bad for him. So it's okay. He was old. Oh, it's Smurf's birthday. I just saw somebody ask what the baby's name is, by the way. It's Smurf. Um, ew. Spoiled. That's my bad. I'll sell that. Alright, I guess I'll age Smurf up in a second then. We're gonna have an infant. Yeah, there is a specific career for each generation. I can link the rules in the chat for you if you want to go see them. Wait, that's... <laughs> Sorry, sorry, sorry. I just put the wrong command like three times. I just put... <laughs> I put yeet and then rules and then NSP. That's not even... Wow. I'll give money to charity. That's fine. Look, I don't know. I don't know. I don't know what happened. I don't know. I'm sorry. <laughs> it's like a force of habit or something. Okay, let's have everybody come and eat first and then I'll age the kid up. We'll do this first though, so I have less time with an infant. I think. Um, oh, plus there's ads playing, so they don't have to. Mi they can they can miss us eating tofurkey. That's fine. Um, how long were you streaming to no one until you took off? You know, uh, June, I had a slightly different Twitch experience than maybe the average person because I started my YouTube channel first. Um, so I was making YouTube videos for a while to like a very small number of people, but um, when I started streaming, I had a pre-existing YouTube audience. So I had a slightly easier time on YouTube than most people, or on Twitch, sorry, than most people, because, you know, I, there were people that watched my YouTube videos. I forgot that we beat him up. Why did I do that? I'll do it again. We have to have, like, a certain number of enemies. Um... So, I guess we'll start here with Santa. I should try and get a couple screenshots of this. You might want this for the future, you know? Put that in the scrapbook. Who do you think's gonna win? Oh, Santa won. Are we evil? No, it's one of the rules though of Not So Berry is that this gen has to have like a certain number of friends and a certain number of enemies. So that's one of them. Okay. Um, wait, why are you down here? Go back to bed. Oh my God. I've had the hardest time getting this one to sleep. She keeps just waking up. Okay, maybe you can come take care of this baby then. Shush. Change dirty diaper. I'll feed it and then I'll age it up. Yeah? Okay. Do I have to declare him your enemy? Oh, I already did. The last time I beat him up, I did that. Um, this is the second time I've been doing this. So we're, we're good there. <laughs> what pack is that bed in? This one is from Realm of Magic. So... 
That's where it's from. Okay, let's get a uh, present. Uh, ask for a present, please. Thank you. Anything good? Life under a microscope. That's just a picture, isn't it? No, that is the microscope. Oh my god, I got a microscope? I'll keep it. I'll put it right here. You beat up Santa and he still gave you a microscope? Oh no, he didn't give Moss one. He gave one to Moss's wife. It's different. I don't think he would give Moss one. All right, let's get the baby aged up and then we'll go into cast and do the infant outfits. Is it not going to break? No, these don't break outdoors. These big ones don't. I've put that outside many a time. It is too big to put inside. So, all right, wiggly, okay. Well, we have to go into cast. I need to make this sim blue first and foremost. That's probably the most important thing we can do. Um, modify in cast, hello? There we go. Um, Carly, Resi, Dora, Juju, thank you for the subs. Um, but we'll go, we'll switch that and then we'll get some outfits. I don't have any infant blue hair, um, but we have stuff for toddlers. Hey, so we'll be able to do that later. Away. All right, little Smurf, I will make you blue. I guess you could be like a totally different shade of blue than your siblings. Should we be like a darker blue? Also, should we be bald? Oh. We're a spellcaster, that's why it did that. I think we should be bald. Oh, you think white hair? I guess we do have like the light, light, light hair. No, we can have, we can be bald and wear a hat though. Like, wouldn't that be kind of cute? Okay, you can also finally set pronouns once they get a little bit bigger. Um, white like Papa Smurf. Oh my God. <laughs> I don't know about that. We'll see, we'll see. I think that Smurf has to wear a hat though. It only feels right. Um, if you were Smurf, what would you wear? We already have a bedroom done at least, so that helps too. I think I want something a little bit more, I don't know, put a white hat. You, <laughs> I think that we should, we don't have to make them look like a Smurf. We just are named Smurf, but we don't have to actually look like Smurf. You know? Can he be Blue Man Group when he's older? Oh. Wow. We don't have to, but what if we did? <laughs> I guess that's true. Um, are there any hats that feel like quite fancy? Why is that one sit on their head like that? I always say that, but if Jort has to wear jorts, then Smurf should look like a Smurf. <laughs> you think so? Hmm. Okay, I'll consider it. Whoa, that's very blue. I like the little sharks one. Party wear. That's very like, Plain. Mega Mind vibes? No, can I show you something? You want to talk about Mega Mind vibes? Earlier today, I was playing, I was doing a little test run with infants. I age, well now, guess who this is? Guess. Yeah, Vlad. I aged Vlad down into an infant. That's what Vlad looks like as an infant. Mega mind. 
Isn't that creepy? I was really shocked by that. I thought that you would think so too. Literally though, look. Wait, hold on, that picture's too small. <laughs> look! Like... Oh, it really, it was making me laugh earlier. Um, but that's, yeah, that's flat as a baby, so. This was not meant to be seen ever. <laughs> no one needed to see Vlad as a baby. That was unnecessary. I'm sorry to bring it up. No one needed to see that. All right. Maybe you could wear some like little blue shorts or something. The tux really ties it all in. Yeah, I thought the tux was kind of nice. Okay, we're never gonna wear this party wear. I know that for a fact. I just won't. I like that one. Oh wait, I need to get a hat. Should we wear a hat to sleep? I actually like this one. I think that's really cute. Party wear. You can wear a little hat. Hot weather. <gasps> oh! <laughs> Look at how cute that is. Okay, and then uh, cold weather. I guess we can wear this hat again. Have I played in a household with seven infants with the intense trait? Yeah, it's horrible. No one was destined to have seven infants at once. It's just not right. Okay. I think that's good. I think we look cute. I'm ready to keep it now. <laughs> Yo, it's Sorry and Knight and Buzzkill and Rose and Anna and Mara. Thank you for the subs. Uh, Jean too and Rezzy and Carly and Dora. Thank you so much. Um, make the hat red so we can be Papa Smurf. Yeah, everybody keeps saying that, but remember, it's the not so berry challenge. We have to commit to the bit. We have to be all blue all the time. This is your first stream you've joined? Hey, welcome in, awesome, it's good to see you. I'm glad you can make it. Anyway, it's it's the not so berry challenge, not the Smurf challenge. We can think about it later, I suppose. When Smurf is a toddler, he should wear the elf costume. Oh wait, maybe you're onto something, Christine. I think, I think you might have the right idea. Okay, I'm gonna send everybody to bed. Oh, someone has to put this baby to bed though. Here, wait. Can you put this one in the crib? Is it tired? No. We'll have to take care of the baby in the morning. It's fine though. Go. Shoo. Hold on, let me get rid of this. The gnome costume? We do have a gnome costume, but not for toddlers. Feed the sharks? Oh no, the sharks are dead. We have to replace them. Um, but I don't really want to spend money on that right now, so we have to wait. I killed the sharks by accident. Thought the point of not so bears that they didn't have berry colored skin. Yeah, normally I don't have sims that are blue. Um, in this case, their mom was green, though, and they were born green. And they can't be green. It's the blue gen, so we had to make them blue. But that is, like, yeah, that, the idea of not so berry is that it's like a berry sim, but not really. Um, but yeah, I, uh, we were born green. Except we're pretending they were born blue. Get it? Uh, Grave in the gray gen was also gray, but that's only because his mom was an alien. So he was also born, I think he was born green too. And I swapped him to be gray. And we said, oh, his mom's an alien, so. Um, okay, everyone take care of your needs and then go back to bed, yeah? So the kids are spellcasters with alien lineage. Yeah, basically, yeah. Um, oh, why are you washing your hands down there? And look at how bad her fun is. Yikes. Okay, into bed. After I get off stream tonight, I'm gonna have to go through and take everything that's inside of my closet out because they're gonna have to go in there and like, they have to do like a bunch of work in it tomorrow when they replace the AC. 
So I have to take everything out of my closet. I'm just sat here thinking about like, I'm gonna have to take all, I'm gonna have all my costumes just like on the floor. Oh boy. It's fine. <laughs> it's fine. <laughs> it's an opportunity to reorganize. There you go. There's that. There's that. No, I'm not gonna cancel stream tomorrow. I'm gonna try and stream from Dan's office though, I think. Cause I stream in the morning on Wednesdays. So I'll be live when they get here tomorrow, but um, I think I'll stream in Dan's office so we can still be live, because I can't be in here. If they're going to be in here, I can't be in here. Um, so we'll see what, we'll stream from Dan's computer and see how that goes. <laughs> I'll have to like bring my headphones so I feel less weird. I don't like his headphones. Um, I guess, and I, we were going to play House Flipper. We can do that. It'll be fun. Oh, Daddy Winter's still there. He's talking to the cat. Okay. Where's Dan gonna sing if you're streaming in his office? That's a good question. Okay, you go away. Um. Well. We just wait, I guess. Is my house super hot now without AC? The AC, um, it's not that hot outside today, Christine. So it's okay. It was hot over the weekend and that's where this problem arose. So we're getting ahead of it now um, before it becomes summer. Um, so that's where we're at. <laughs> um, we're, we're luckily uh, getting a little bit ahead of it. So it's not that bad yet. Um, I'm gonna come feed this baby, I think. Can you come here? Hurry up. Yeah, it's good it's happening now instead of in like July, right? <laughs> that would be bad. <laughs> Is it too hot over there during summer? Yeah, I live in Florida. So um, during the summertime, it's rough to say the least. All right, let's get fed by Alphaba. You're awake because you need fed and bathed and stuff. Your AC went out in August in Florida and it was disgusting. Yeah, I've um, I've experienced that many times. Are you eating spoiled food? Oh. I was gonna say I've experienced that many times in my life. Like the times that hurricanes have knocked the power out for like a week and it's like August. It's not right. It's horrible. The house becomes a sauna. It's and you like it's just it's just miserable. As you can imagine. <laughs> That's why you bought a generator. Yeah, my um my parents got a generator last year. Um they haven't used it yet cuz they they didn't lose power. The last last hurricane season wasn't that bad in central Florida, so power off for a week. Yeah, well when you get unlucky in the storm um we have a, that's, I mean, a week isn't even that bad compared to what happens to people that are uh, hit harder by the hurricane. Usually in central Florida, in Orlando, it's not that bad. It's like more along the coast where it gets worse, but you might have no power for longer than that. Um, but here it's the opposite. If my heater broke, that would be a problem, but the AC broken, no problem. Don't use it. Yeah, I've never turned the heat on in this house. <laughs> So it's kind of funny to think about the difference, but um, yeah, Charlie was rough for sure. Hurricane Charlie happened right after we moved to Florida and it was my birthday. <laughs> it was, it was August 13th. My, I'm the 14th, but um, welcome to Florida. Happy Hurricane Charlie. <laughs> um, that was a, that was rough. Yeah. Yeah. But it kind of depends. Um, Sometimes it's not as bad. Sometimes where you live, you get lucky and it's not as bad. Sometimes a tornado knocks down your power line and then it's real bad. You just can't control it. So, um, it stinks. Housewarming present. Yeah, right? <laughs> I remember when we first moved here, I was like, this place is horrible. Cause we were planning, we were gonna go to Disney for my birthday um, when we first moved. Uh, this obviously was years ago. <laughs> it was like what, 2004? Um, and, and then, uh, yeah, Hurricane Charlie. Welcome. And we had moved like a week or two before 
So that was kind of a rough hurricane season, just in general. Um, 2004 is the year you left Florida. Oh, really? Um, well, that's good. <laughs> that's good. Um, look at toys. There you go. We'll try and cue up a bunch of that. Are you going to try and sleep? Don't sleep. Look at toys. All right, let me get you a bath. We'll start there. Um, for Jort. We moved from Chicago. Um, I was born in Chicago. My family is from Chicago. So my dad grew up there and everything. Um, all right. We'll come bathe this one. Yeah, not this year, but last year's hurricane season. So now it's been like a year and a half. Um, was really rough for us. Um, my grandmother's condo completely flooded. Completely destroyed. Like six feet of water inside of the condo flooded. Um, and that had never happened to us before. So that was a rough one. <laughs> um, she wasn't there, thank God. But yeah, it was it was bad. <laughs> It was real bad. <laughs> um, they have to, when that happens, you have to get rid of everything. They had to rewire and redo everything in the entire place, as you can imagine. I mean, there's six feet of water sitting inside of the room. Um, uh, I'll work from home today, I think, with Alphaba. Right. Okay, and then I'll let you go to sleep after you finish this. All right, Moss, you take a shower. Flooding is scary. It's water that does the, the most damage. It's quite scary. Um, uh, did we build the shell challenge yet? We're not doing a shell challenge today, no. Um, we are, we're playing some Not So Berry today. We don't have a shell challenge on currently. Um, no, we didn't flood at my house or my parents' house. The neighborhood next to my parents' house flooded bad, though. So we got really lucky that my parents' house didn't flood. Um, they live kind of near a river, so a lot of the houses near the river flooded. Um, I don't live super close to bodies of water, so um, hopefully I won't have too many issues here, but... Um, okay, crab milestone unlocked. That's pretty good, kid. Maybe I'll get Moss to put you to bed then. Wait, do you want to do that for real? We can go to sleep in the crib instead. All right, and we have all day at home today. So maybe you, I guess you could probably bathe this one next. And I'll have this one go work on skills. Um, play inside this, wait, do you have those skills? Oh, you have imagination, Never mind. You've got level three and three skills, actually. If this were the 100 baby challenge, I could age you up. <laughs> if we were playing that challenge, we'd be done. Okay. So after you finish that, you have work in 20 minutes. Oh, okay, never mind. You despise the thinking skill. Yeah, I don't love the thinking skill either. Ugh. No, we haven't played our March Among Us yet. Let me tell you, hold on. Um, in, it looks like we're doing a poll right now between the 28th and the 29th. And the, and the 27th, um, but the 28th and 29th have the most votes. So it's looking like we're gonna play Among Us uh, closer to the end of the month. Um, but that is the plan. So we'll figure out how it, how it goes. Um, but we always do like a little poll in our Among Us server and see what works for the most number of people. Um, and then we decide what to, how to go from there. Are you gonna get your bath? Yikes. All right, hopefully we can just max this skill then. And you want to get level four gardening skill. You want to splice a plant? Oh my, we haven't done any of that yet. I guess we will though, so that'll be fun. What pack is the bedroom wallpaper from? This one, uh, this is from vampires. I don't know if you mean that one or like a different one. Pastel pop kit, base game. But this one's vampires, this bedroom with the green. What's the funky looking plant? Oh, this is an alien plant. It's an intergalactic growth pod. <laughs> um, Fidelius and Sankeys and Brooke and, and Meow Kent and, and Jack and Kayla and Ma, thank you for the subs. Yeah, bathing kids is so annoying. So, so, so very annoying. We're getting there though. I'll let you shower after that. 
Look, the kid's fine now. Um, Ginger, there's- so the- the reason that I'm live at a different time is because our clocks changed in the US. Um, where you live, you might have not changed your clocks, or maybe you haven't changed your clocks yet. Um, it depends, I don't know where, where you live. Um, Europe changes them on the 31st of March, so there's like a weird period where the time- our time difference is shorter. I'm always live at 4 o'clock Eastern Time. Um, I'm always here at 4 o'clock Eastern Time, but... 4 o'clock Eastern Time is at a different time right now. <laughs> um, so you know better than I do about where you live and what the clocks are like there, but... Um, it's because our clocks change. So... I'm not streaming earlier today. I'm streaming at the normal time. For me, it's the normal time. <laughs> For you, it might be early. <laughs> For me, it's still 4 p.m. Eastern Time. <laughs> um, it's confusing because people change their clocks in different places, but... Um, yeah, it's- for me, it's still the regular time. <laughs> okay. You finish eating that. Um... And then... We'll finish taking care of all of these, too. Okay, very cool. I guess I should try and, like, do some splicing then or something, huh? Oh, okay, you're gonna shower, I guess? That's fine. Yeah, Daylight Savings is weird. I gotta be honest, I really, really like the past couple of days it being lighter out longer. Like, it's so nice. I'm gonna get off stream today, and it's gonna be light out still. So that's kind of fun. <laughs> I'm very much looking forward to it being light out still when I get off stream. Um, that's a win. Um, I just hate the... The constant clock changing is confusing. Um, and it confuses everybody in chat, so... <laughs> that doesn't help. Alright, this one, I'm gonna go work on your skills finally now. You need... Maybe I could have you work on, like, movement or something. You wanna slide a bunch? See what we can do for you. Alright, we are getting somewhere. Um... Oh, yeah, Christine, I bet that is difficult when you have children. <laughs> and they say, no, it's not bedtime, <laughs> it's still light out. Uh-oh. I don't love that it's, uh, the sunrise is quite late now. It's like, the sunrise is at like 7.40 now, um, here. Which is bad. I don't love that, but, um, it's okay. <laughs> it's fine. Um, I, I wish the sun was up a little bit earlier. I don't like it when I'm getting up and it's still dark. Um, but you can't win, so... <laughs> okay, um... We'll finish taking care of all of this quick, I guess. Your alarm went off and your whole body was like, why are we waking up? It's dark? Yeah, it's terrible. It's terrible. Um... I can't splice a plant. I don't- do I not have the right skill? Do you need level 7 to splice? Because I can't cut a... So that means I can't work from home. <laughs> so that's bad. <laughs> I don't really know what to do about that one. Um, I guess we'll figure it out. Yikes. Yikes, yikes, yikes. Um, Laura and Bonnie and Syl, thank you for the subs, everybody. Yeah, part plant, I agree. It's, um, the, the longer evenings is, is, uh, is better. It's nicer to have more time when you get home from work or... I mean, sometimes not even, but... <laughs> um, it's nice to have a little bit more of that. Stop. Can you not even... Weed area. I don't know, do a spell or two or something. Uh, we'll see. We'll see. How close are we to Gen 10? Well, they're they're only a toddler. <laughs> so not very, I guess. <laughs> um, because they're still quite young. Okay, you can stop all this. And then you can play inside. We'll do a little switcheroo. 
what world is the next gen living in? Oh, we haven't decided that yet. Um, we'll have to wait and see on that one. I'm not really sure. All right, I'm gonna have Moss. I, I would like them to do some more programming. Do you want to make another mobile app? Perhaps? Oh, the baby is hungry. I'll come feed it. Somewhere that has blue Suburbans? Yeah, maybe. <laughs> Are there a lot traits on? Um, let's find out. No. We could get child's play, make kids learn faster. We could get great soil. Maybe fast internet too for our programming. Yeah, I forgot to put those when we moved. Okay. So you'll go take care of that one. How long until the babies age up? You still have three days? We might be able to get the skills maxed if we try hard enough. When will you build the Gen 10 house? Oh God, <laughs> just so you know, um, not for a while, not until this kid is a young adult and they're only a toddler right now. Uh, we just built this house. Um, so we're gonna wait a while <laughs> before we build the one for the next gen. I feel like we're, we just got this one. So I'm not even ready to consider the next house. <laughs> um, we have a long ways to go. Why is one of them red? Do you mean this one? It's a dog. It's a dog. <laughs> That's so fun that you asked that though. <laughs> it is a dog, it's not a person. So that would be why. Not a dog, that's pulp. Oh, oh, okay, true, true, true. It's not a dog, it's pulp. It's something more than that. <laughs> we're, we, we're, we've passed the point of dog. <laughs> we've evolved further. Okay, have you fed the kid yet? No? Are you gonna eat now? No? Oh, I'm sick and tired of this. Are you gonna eat now? Feed me. Feed me. There we go. Oh my goodness. It's a little bit much for me to handle. Why are the skin blue? Are the babies sick? No, 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 they're just blue. Yeah, their mom is green. They just are blue, nothing bad happening. They're just literally blue, that's all. Everything's fine. <laughs> I know, when the babies refuse to eat, it makes me so mad. Like, you're so hungry, I'm trying to feed you and they just won't. No, I don't normally change their skin color. This has caused a lot of drama, the babies being blue. It's really like throwing people. Um, but <laughs> uh, normally I just leave them, um, but I'm, they're blue because they're half spellcaster. That's all, that's the, the reason behind it. Um, use the bathroom. And then I guess I'll bathe this child, huh? Did you not even use the bathroom? Oh my God. You can talk to algae, that's fine. Okay, I'm using the bathroom. I need to bathe the baby now. Give a bubble bath to Smurf. The toddlers are both going to bed. Okay. Oh, I should change my phone to be green. Right? We can have a green camo phone. That's fun. Um, I don't like it, but I understand the decision about being blue. I, they, they were born blue. They just were. <laughs> um, I, I don't know why people are making it into such a big problem. <laughs> it's really become like a whole thing. <laughs> um, Sass, thank you for the five month resub. All right, Elphaba, you're taking your own bath. Oh, let's go to the dueling grounds. That's fun. I can do that. They're not aliens, but they are spellcasters and their mother is a green spellcaster. So they are blue spellcasters because they're the blue gen. It's okay. <laughs> 
it's perfectly fine and normal. <laughs> Plus, like, thank you for the six month resub. I think it's kind of fun too how it's like the last gen and they're they're blue. They are so berry. So. Okay, we head home. We're gonna go. Wait, why are you upset? Oh, someone must have died and I don't remember who. Yikes, NSP, but you progressively get more berry. <laughs> there you go. That's the spirit. Um, all right. I don't think that we're gonna win this. This is our dad. And he's like a way better spellcaster than we are. But you never know. <gasps> Did I just win that? Why didn't it count as winning a duel against another spellcaster? Is it because they invited me out? Well, that was exciting. I won. Oh no. And the, the previous sage of untamed magic died. Oh, that's really inconvenient. Now I don't know them anymore. That is a problem. I wonder if I could try and duel any of these randoms. Should I cheat our relationship with this person? Cause you're not gonna wanna teach me anything, are you? I don't really need your help that much, but I need a couple more spells, so. All the sages died on you? Mm, yeah, me too. You can like high energy sims, that's fine. Teach me. Decursify! We're getting there, we have almost all the spells. Did anybody else important die by any chance? Oh, not another one. This one's also an elder. Stop replacing them with elders. Oh. Well, that's bad. That is real bad. Okay. Let's, let me set this up. Look, I'm not worried about cheating this. I don't really care that much. Magic. Teach me mischief magic. Can I age them down? Oh, I guess I could. We finished getting all of the mischief magic spells now. So I don't need you anymore. I do still need this one. Is this a modded magical realm? No, it's not modded. Um, I built this lot though. I, I built this castle thing that we're playing in. Um, so it might look a little bit different because it is. <laughs> um, but that's kind of where we're at. It's on the gallery, yeah. I built it like six months ago or something. Oh, ooh, is that a good one? Create a fully grown plant and even the most fallow of soils. <gasps> That's really good. We're almost there. We almost have all of them. I do need to go to bed. So maybe I'll go home. We stayed out a little bit late. Okay. You like when I built this place? Yeah, I had fun building it too. It took a long time to build it. Um, but it was quite fun to do. I really liked doing it. Where do I live? Oh, um, Henford on Bagley. Sorry. Let me see if I can use that spell on our crystal tree. See if we can get it to insta grow. Do I have a crystal tree? Or have I not put our crystal stuff down yet? I don't think that we put one. Maybe we haven't used our crystals yet in this save. And we've talked about it, but we haven't actually started. Cause we, you know what it was? We were so distracted by all the kids that we haven't done it yet. I think that's the issue. So that makes sense. I will work on the crystals today then, I suppose. 
Let me send you to bed. Or, well, tomorrow. <laughs> Not quite today. It's a little bit early for that. All right. You will come, baby care. You feed the baby. You are miserable, so you can come talk to this thing. You are also miserable, but I'll just have you go to sleep first. Okay, yeah, we have to get a crystal tree then. That's another thing to worry about. <laughs> oh no, no, we did put this, we did start a little bit. I really didn't plant a crystal tree, even though I started. Hmm. Well, we will cut a crystal gemstone in the morning. That'll be our first order of business tomorrow. All right, and then you put Smurf to sleep. Oh my god, the babies are miserable. I think that we looked around a little bit for crystals after the lightning last stream, but I don't think that we ever got any. Which was sad. We were hoping for it, but we didn't get any. Um, the last cow plant died, Chad. We only had one living and now it's gone. So that's a yikes. It's okay. It was too much. I was stressed. I had too many to worry about. The rat's fine. I'll feed the rat too, just to be, just to be safe. Oh, never mind. <laughs> Carrie Lacey fed the rat, so we don't have to. All right, and off to bed. All right, we made it through another day. Everything's fine. I just noticed how many graves there are. They blend in with the snow. Oh yeah, we have a lot of graves. This is all the ones people that we know. And these are all the ones that we found. So. <laughs> Corchi, Finn, and Rip Hayden, thank you for the subs. All right, off to bed, 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 off to bed. Off to bed, off to bed, off to bed. Oh, let me save the game. Found is so ominous for those who don't know. I know it sounds really bad when I say, oh, we found these. Huh? Huh? Okay. Um, I need to go back to sleep too. Thank you. Okay, good. Now we're fine. I think. Is everybody actually asleep? Look, you won't sleep. She won't sleep. Now she will. Okay. Two days. Two more days. We're almost through. We're almost there. You named a kid Smurf? Yeah, the kids are named Denim, Jort, and Smurf. I like it. I think it's cute. Do you? <laughs> okay. Um, well, just let them sleep through the night, I guess. So tomorrow, like I said, I'm gonna have Elva but work on that. I might let her take care of her needs first, though. And she didn't finish her plant stuff that she was meant to do today, so that's bad. I'm gonna get in trouble. A fire? Where? The ghost? Really? Oh, well, I should have repaired it. Why did I do that? I just paid to replace that instead of using my spell. Oh, I'm not very smart. Oh, the kids are all gonna get brought outside now too, aren't they? No, 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 no. No, 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 no. Put Smurf down, put Smurf down, put Smurf in the bed, put Smurf in the bed. Okay, well, you need to... Oh, the rat just like poofed away in a puff of scary smoke as well. Um, you go to bed. You go to bed. I guess I shall have you- What are you doing?! I find infants so unbelievably annoying. Why? 
why would you just put it outside like that? Are you done? Are you done? You're not gonna bring the kid upstairs? No? I'm, I'm gonna leave you there. I'm gonna say you slept through the night and I'm gonna leave you there. I'm not kidding. You're no longer my issue. All right, that was a rough night. I gotta be honest, that was a real rough night. But we're getting through it, it's okay. It's okay. There's nothing wrong with leaving the baby outside in the snow. It's like actually impossible to use. Like, that is not air material. Yeah, I think that just ruled out Smurf as the air. Um, there's absolutely no way I'm dealing with that. I'm just not. We don't like you anymore. Okay. So. You all head to bed. We'll worry about that later. I'll let these two all sleep. The baby's even asleep. The baby is peacefully asleep. The kid's fine. It's completely fine. Okay. Will the blue babies be spellcasters? Yeah, two of them are. I think just Denim isn't a spellcaster. The other two ended up being spellcasters. Oh, sorry, I kicked something. Um, but Denim is the only non-spellcaster in, in the, uh, at least in the set of babies. Moss obviously is not a spellcaster either. All right, how are you doing? We have work again today. We'll see about that. <gasps> no! Wow, I'll work from home again. Feed a cow plant? My cow plants both just died. Okay, it's fine. Everything's fine. Well, Alphabet's boss was disappointed with our work, so we made zero dollars that day. I think that my next plan is gonna be, okay, so you repaired that. I think that our next plan is gonna be to just get some food, take care of our needs, and then I think I might go to the magic realm and play on the magic realm a little bit. There might be a cow plant at the magic realm. If I remember correctly, I might have put one down. Wait, a rabbit that we knew? Oh. Oh my god. Well, that sucks. Oh, I was gonna get my crystal seed. Oh, we have so much to do. Okay, I'll watch my TV and stuff. No, the repair yo, you can't use spells on the dead cow plants. I already clicked on them trying. Um, you cannot, you cannot use spells to save the cow plants. At least not any of the spells that I have. It's not there. All right. Well, we'll see about getting our fun up. Um. I can show you all the kids. This one is Denim, the little one with pigtails. This one is Jort, and this one is Smurf, in that order. Um, it, you don't need to worry about it that much, about who's who, at least not right now. They're so young. Like, it's fine. It's really fine. All right, you can use the bathroom, and then we're gonna go craft our thingy, I think. Not jewelry. I want to craft a little seed. Thankfully, we do not have work today. So that's a huge win for us as well. One spell revives dead plants. Yeah, we, um, I don't know if it works on the cow plants. 
No, I guess clearly it's not there, so. All right, kiddo, I need you to come eat, but I can bring you that food easily. Come here. And we'll let Moss help you as soon as they're done with getting their fun up. Because we have to get a bath. That should help our attention need. Yeah, I don't think the spells work on cow plants. Yeah, that, I mean, that's what we've learned <laughs> from, from our testing just now. But um, yeah, clearly the spells do not work on the cow plants. Okay. Well, that's all good to go. Do you want to give a bath to this one first? And we'll just get them both. One bath at a time. I have a broken appliance in the corner. Oh, this. Yeah. Someone might have a cow plant berry? That's possible. I don't know. Oh, we do have a cow plant berry. I guess we could plant another cow plant then. Will it let me plant it in the winter? Okay, well, if I don't know if any spells work on cow plants at all, but we can plant it. Why not Reperio for the appliance? I don't think that there was an option to Reperio on that. I don't think I saw it um, when I did it. It's okay. <laughs> I don't have an answer to that question. Maybe I just forgot. I don't know, but I don't think it was there. Um, it's really okay. <laughs> All right, how about the kids? How are you doing? Moss? Almost ready. I'm so ready to have these kids be a little bit older. I'm like genuinely stressed right now at having this many young kids all at once. It's bad. Okay. Um, you're almost done with this, so we'll plant that in a minute. And then... I guess the kids, they should have like one day left, right? Two, okay, still two days, yikes, okay. That's fine, it's fine, it's fine, it's fine. I'm gonna need to bathe this one too. But I guess we can just have them all take turns to get bathed. Feeling constricted from being carried, okay. Look, it fixes our attention. That's a huge help too. I'm stressed. <laughs> Sophie, Lexing, and Straw, and Tangerine, and Simmer, and Sim Serenity. Thank you so much for the subs and stuff, everybody. Um, all right. Your attention is still very low. Maybe Moss can play with you. Hug lovingly. Um, do you wanna... You just hug them. Maybe the two kids can play with each other to fix it in a minute. Um, no, how about I get you a bath? Bath time for Moss. You, my friend, I'll just worry about you on my own. Okay, um, do I have like any... I need a little bit more thinking skill. Maybe I could play in all of the cabinets to get just like a bit more thinking skill. Did that spoil? Yeah, okay. Oh my, the next gen is blue. Yeah, 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 the next gen is blue after this. Hence, they're all blue. <laughs> um, oh, really? Kaysen, I'm so glad that you like them. I think they're so cute. Um, I'm really glad that you like them. Oh, did you finish it? Yes. Okay, can you plant this? Let's just put it over here for now. And we'll worry about it and like customize where it's placed once it's down in the ground. Um, but we'll start there. Okay. Magic spells floral oriel. Can I not use the one I just got? I just got a really good spell. This one, create a fully grown plant and it's not on it. So that's a real shame. Okay, I guess I'll let it start growing. Um, well, I don't think you'll be able to use it on the cow plant then. 
that one spawns random plants. Oh, it spawns random plants? I thought I was just gonna grow it up. So I can put a random plant in the ground like this, you say? I've never tried it, I don't think. Oh! I think I'm getting scammed. Try again. Oh, we got one. Mandrake plant. There you go. Well, there. At least something went right. <laughs> something went okay. That's, that's better than nothing. <sighs> All right. You know what? I think that I should be allowed to give my sim a little bit more energy. I feel like I'm- that's allowed. Did we cheat to make the cow plant grow? Do you think I should? I wasn't gonna. But should I? You think we should? Okay. Um... Would you like to make me... How about some chili? Leave me alone. Okay. Um, I'm gonna cheat the cow plant, I guess. Growth stage, blossoming. Okay. Magic! <laughs> Look, I've got so many cow plants, I'm not that worried about cheating this one. Okay. Alphaba has a magic spell to make it grow faster. Exactly, exactly. You get it. Okay, I'm feeding this one. Feed. I wanna get my thing. I'm not dueling you. I keep pressing the feed button and nothing happens. It's because you don't actually need to be fed, right? Or it's just too, is it too close to the bushes? Feed? I fed the cow plant. I did. I fed it. You saw, I fed it, it's fine. All right. Let's see, kids, I'm gonna have you talk to each other. Cause both of you have a very low attention need. Moss, after you cook, you're gonna need to sleep. Oh my god, the dog needs a bath and everything. Whoa. <laughs> it might be because of the snow angel. Um, that's entirely possible. But, um, okay. Well, there's too much going on. <laughs> I have a Discord, Roxy. Yeah, it's linked in the chat there. Discord.gg forward slash so yeah. if you're If you're looking to join us. Um, anyway, let me see, have I missed anything? Oh! Don't be perfectionist. We did max the cooking skill, that's pretty good. Um, Ariana and Louise and Kaysen and Westy, thank you for the subs, I appreciate that. I think broccoli is an elder, right? So is tofu. I'm afraid that our pets are gonna die soon. I'm just trying to be, like, logical about this. And I'm getting kind of scared that they're gonna leave us. <laughs> so we'll see. <laughs> Not pulp, but the other two. It's been a while. I almost don't want to check their lifespan. I like don't want to know. Um, I don't want to age them down either. I'm not. I cannot have more than one immortal pet. That's too much for me to handle. Okay, if we can get our fun and our attention up a little bit by talking to each other, that would be just fantastic. You're mostly fine now, so. All right. Grab a survey, grab a survey. Everything's fine, except for this kid. How long until you age up? Three days! Oh my god. Oh. <laughs> oh no. <laughs> Selwyn, thank you for the 13 
my three sub. Thank you so much. Tempted to get a horse ranch while it's on sale. Ooh, horse ranch is a fun one. No, we're not on short lifespan. We're on normal lifespan right now. Um, so we have, uh, we don't have to worry about the short lifespan stuff too much. Thankfully. All right. I think that in the, oh my God, the cat's eating my chili. That's really bad. You're so brave for having two toddlers and an infant. I'm not brave. I was forced into this by Twitch chat. I got peer pressured and I knew I didn't want to and I still let them do it to me. Anyone could have predicted this outcome. We all saw this coming. <laughs> we all saw this coming. Okay. You, maybe you could like talk to your bear a little bit and then you can go to sleep too. All right, that kid's in bed. We'll be done with the infant soon and we won't have babies for a while and that'll be a huge win. Um, okay. Let's sell this stuff. How long does it take it to get to Gen 9 in a legacy? Just curious, like real time. Um, it depends how much you're playing, I guess. Um, and like, you know, maybe you're triple speeding or whatever. Maybe you're playing on a short lifespan instead of normal lifespan. It's hard to say. We've been playing not so very for a while, like two years. Um, but we could have played it faster. I mean, like, uh, it kind of just depends um, how often you're playing and all that sort of stuff. Um, but some people play a lot more, like you might've gotten further quicker, just depends. Um, oh, Pulp and the cat are hanging out. I will bathe the cat soon. I just, or the dog I meant, sorry. I'm just very stressed. There's too many Sims. One step at a time. <laughs> Ninja, Sally, thank you both for the resubs. Okay. Oh, I should save as well. Ooh, yikes. That would be good. Bathe cat? No, I meant the dog, because my dog is all like flea ridden. I'll fix it. It's fine. It's gonna be totally and completely fine, okay? Um, all right. Well, we're going through the night. Let me replace don't transform. Oh my god. Let me replace a couple of these things the ghost just broke. I could repair them, but I kinda wanna get rid of some of our money. And then in the morning, do you have work tomorrow? No, okay, we can work on our logic skill. I do, I have a chess table somewhere, right? I always have chess tables. If I don't have a chess table, I'm gonna be shocked and upset. Oh yeah, there we go. I always put one. <laughs> Today better not be the exception. <laughs> All right, get leftovers when you wake up. You can use the bathroom and then you can play with this. Moss, you're almost ready to get up. So that's good. It's not a Simsy house without a chess table. I just find chess to be very useful in game. I feel like everybody needs the logic skill so often, you know? Um, so that's why I tend to like gravitate towards making my Sims have it. Um, okay, I might- I might have Moss cook up another meal. Or, well... Maybe I'll do a gourmet meal, it's lagging so much. Cause we max the cooking skill. Cook a gourmet meal. Let's do like a fruit and yogurt parfait, and then I'll fill both of these pet bowls. And there we go. Off to a good start. Um, Okay, laugh milestone. Oh, good job, kid. Well, you're awake and you're smelly, so that's bad. I'll have to take care of that one in a minute. Does Elphaba have the spell where she can spawn magic food? I don't know. Let's find out. Um, oh, look at my needs. In practical magic. Yes, we can spawn food out of thin air. I don't really do that very often. I guess we haven't used it at all. How do you, what do you do? Would you click on the floor? Oh, there you go. Okay. 
go. Well, I don't really agree that it should be on the ground, but I guess that's fine. I guess that's fine. Okay, you get sold. Wish you could just summon mac and cheese. Yeah, right? Wouldn't that be nice? That's the spirit. You magic food if you can't be bothered to clone food? Fair enough. As you should. Moss, are you actually gonna bathe that one? Oh, good job. Okay. Go use the bathroom. Hurry up before you pee. Quick! Quick! You're stressing me out! Oh, <laughs> Emily, thank you for the resub. And Dash and R and Curly, thank you so much too. Okay. Go away. I don't think Moss is gonna do it. Do you wanna make some more food? We can get a couple more of them. That might be kind of fun for us. Yeah, the cauldron is great because you can cook mac and cheese in it. Perhaps I'll make a little meal for each of the toddlers. Here. You can eat that as soon as the time comes for you to wake up. All right. Things are going actually pretty well, I would say. I do need to work on my garden. Everything needs weeded, pretty much. And a lot of my plants reset, so that sucks. I guess I could cheat them back, but I don't really wish to have to do that. Um, this one will give me a bigger portion of food, I suppose, if we want to. Look at how fast she gets rid of this stuff. And a couple of these trees can be evolved. I know that. I was seeing it before, but it's not letting me click on them. Do you see that? I, I was noticing that too, um, but I tried to click on it and it wouldn't let me. So, I don't know about that. Whatever. If the game wants to do this, then so be it. I'm not gonna get involved. The plants are like really bugged. <laughs> to a very frustrating degree. I think she's non-stop weeding, right? It's glitch, you can stop. It's fine. Okay, what does the baby want now? To be fed? Well then Moss, feed the baby! I don't understand. You're holding it, so why? <sighs> That's so annoying. Can't evolve when they're out of season. Yeah, I don't think that makes any sense. I think that's really stupid. <laughs> I know that's why, because of the winter, but the fact that it's like glistening and you can't click on it, oh, because it's out of season, no sense. It makes no sense. Because now it's just gonna sparkle nonstop until the season comes back. <sighs> so we're very frustrated by this, I think. It's very, very annoying. Okay, you use the bathroom moss. You need to get your charisma skill up. I might just have you talk in the, in the mirror. You can practice speech a bit. And you're gonna keep gardening, I suppose. Okay, well, how about you come play some chess? Ignore the infant. Put the infant down. Oh my god. The winter's almost over, so we'll be out of here soon. <laughs> my infant is miserable. The kid hates it here. I can't even say I blame them. All right, maybe I'll buy a couple Wabbit tablets. Because if we did that, maybe we could have them get their thinking skill just a bit which might be good. Oh, and then I'll give that one to your sister. You please play Sim Shape. You please play Sim Shape. Okay, off to a good start there. We gotta get this skill up. iPad kids, yeah, <laughs> yeah. Um, we are, it's a work in progress. And, and it's, I don't usually have my kids be iPad kids. It's rare, but this time, yes, absolutely. Okay, you can have raise a skill as your New Year's resolution. Okay. 
Why so many babies? We had twins and then we had an, a baby afterward. So we have twin toddlers and an infant right now. The toddlers have one day till they age up. So we're getting there. Uh oh, you're super late for work. That's your fault. Why didn't you go? Go. Oh my. I guess I'm home alone then with the kids. That's fine. My little iPad children. I take some pictures of this. Oh, I actually think that Jort is so cute. Like genuinely, I love you, Jort. You're so good. Okay, you feed the tree and clean this habitat too. I need level four logic. That's a lot. Oh, I just got 500 smolians of book royalties from our rat as well. <laughs> Oh my, Little King and Free and Jimberly and Jack, thank you for the subs. Oh, we are almost certainly gonna have Jort as the heir. I think that we all feel really strongly about that. I think all of us are really team Jort for heir right now. Um, I don't really want to give you money, Maximus. Okay. Um, actually, if we're gonna age up in one day, we're gonna become children soon, so we are probably gonna want to start thinking about, um, CC. Because we're gonna have to get some children hairs that are recolored in the sorbet palette. Um, if anybody has any particular links to, like, maybe a- I, I would be open to, like, if you had an idea for a hair that was good. We could even get these hairs, but for children. Um, it would be nice to have that. Um, and if we could get it linked, maybe Moz or something. Um, but, um, yeah, that would be good because then we could download it immediately when the time comes. Um, yeah, I like this hair. I would be willing to give this hair to Jort when she's older too, because I think it's kind of cute. It's a fun one. I only really have this one because it was one of the only CCs that I downloaded. <laughs> I'm open to more options for denim, but <laughs> that was one of the only ones that I that I downloaded. So <laughs> uh, that's kind of where we where we ended up with that one. Okay, I think that today I'd like to ditch these people and I want to go to this magic realm. Oh wait, I didn't mean to press M. Um, I wanted to go to the magic realm and do some dueling with people. I think. So in my inventory, I do indeed have a little crystal. Don't destroy it! Sorry, my life just flashed before my eyes. I didn't want that. <laughs> I did not want that. <laughs> it's not a dumb question. We we haven't decided on who the heir is yet, Serenity. Um, it's probably going to be Jort, but we're not 100% sure. Um, anyway. I scared you. I'm sorry. I didn't mean to, like, jump scare everybody by yelling. I got really nervous just then. <laughs> I didn't want to have to destroy it again. Uh, so thank you for the 18 month resub. If you destroy it, we have to go and get another one, and that would be annoying. This is easier because um, this way we just have it. We don't have to travel and try and get another one. Which is what everybody wants. Which which um bits of magic am I still missing? I'm missing spells from Practical and Untamed. Do you want to try and ask this person for one, and then we can um duel somebody? Thank you, C. I appreciate it. Home Wordial. I still don't have copy pasta. That's what I wanted. Well, this one helps us to return to the magic realm, so I guess we wouldn't even need our thingy anymore. Um, am I- do I have all of the untamed magic? No, I think I still need one more from this, or two more or something. Oh, I can't share my knowledge with just anyone. Shut up. I'm gonna go- I'm gonna go beat somebody up. How about you? Mackenzie Howard. You actually look kind of cool. I want to do a duel with some other spellcasters. So that's kind of where I'm going right now. I'm thinking magic. 
challenge to magical duel. Let's do a duel for ingredients. Yes. Hopefully I win. We want to win three duels against other spellcasters for this. But I'm doing pretty well now, so I feel like we should be okay. Right? I won our last duel against our dad. Yes! I got Koi. Can I duel the same person again? Or does it have to be three different people for the aspiration? I guess we can find out. Come on, magic. Duel me! Has to be three different. That's so boring. I wish that it didn't. Is there anyone else here? No. Okay. I literally don't see anybody. Oh, because they're all up here. Who do you think we could beat up? This guy? Probably. Yeah, I find the duels to be very annoying. I'm not really interested in magic duels. I like having magic powers. I don't really care to duel magically. Um, I find that all quite boring. What? He just ditched me. Okay, I'll get this one instead. We're going to miss the countdown at this rate? Oh, I wasn't even gonna try. I don't really care about the holiday today. I wasn't that concerned. I'll make a resolution, but... I wasn't really planning on watching it. <laughs> I want a duel. Where are you going now? Oh, you're doing somebody else. Oh, okay. Yeah, we can duel outside of the Magic Realm too, except I don't know any spellcasters really. I guess I can meet them here and then bring them home, but that's one more. I got turquoise from that. Come back. Any more? How about you? I'll duel you next. Her dads are spellcasters? Yeah, but they're better than me for the most part. I only beat them once. That's why I don't want to duel them. I'm trying to pick like weenies, like these people, Christine. It was intentional. Cause I feel more conf confident in my abilities to beat them. Um, yeah, we dueled one of her dads because he invited us out and we did beat him that time, but I don't feel like it's gonna happen for us again. I have low expectations. Okay, now I gotta get spellcaster rank five and then I'm done. And that's not too bad. We'll be able to get there. It's a work in progress. We want a mop. <laughs> Alright, then we can go home. Uh, Cat, Madison, Bamboozy, and, and Deadly, thank you for the subs. I live in Henford on Bagley. Oh, I can show you the reward for finishing the aspiration. We can look at that once we get back home. Um, can you die from this? Um, you can't die, like, in a duel. But you can get, like, spellcaster overloaded from dueling too much, I guess. Um, so, in that case, I guess you can die in a duel, but only if you do it too much. Um, okay. So... Do I have need fixing potions? We have a couple. I probably should make some more, to be honest. That might be what the potion I have in the basement is. Oh, the snow is gone. Discard content. Oh, never mind. Who's to say what it is? Let me look if I have potions of plentiful needs. Oh, I do. Oh, I might give myself one of those right now. You drink that, okay? There we go. It's basically a cheat. <laughs> it's basically a cheat. But that way we can help the kids. These babies are gonna age up tomorrow. So we'll deal with that in the morning. But I'll put them both to sleep. For now. 
And this one, maybe I can get your mom to bring you over there. Guys, the sharks have been starved. They're, it says that they're starving. No, they've been dead. They're all dead. They are already dead. They've been dead all the stream. I just haven't paid to replace them yet because they're kind of expensive. Um, but the sharks have been dead. <laughs> so there's nothing to worry about. It's not new. <laughs> You don't want to get to the cow plant for some reason. Where should I put it? If I put it anywhere else, I'm gonna like lose it. Maybe there, I guess. Come here. Okay, well I can feed the cow plant over here, I guess. And then I can give pulp a bath. Maybe I will after that clean the, and then stock it with sharks. See, it's like four grand though to get it set up. You can use the copy pasta spell on charge crystals and jewels and it will keep the charge. Oh my gosh. That's like the one spell that we don't have yet too. Literally the one that we're missing. <laughs> we'll get there. We'll get it. It's gonna be fine. That is funny though that the one that we don't have is the good one. Um, okay. Would you care to design some random jewelry, miss? I would like that. Okay, uh, Minecraft and Flip Wizardry and Deadly and Madison, thank you for the subs. Um, you are mostly fine too. Oh, things are actually looking up now. You're not even tired. I guess I could have you practice making some drinks after this until like, well, maybe not. Maybe I'll just go to bed because it is getting kind of late, but your energy is like full, so. Let the toddler's blue hair do you? I think it's kind of fun, the blue hair. I'm glad that you like it. I'm glad. All right, everybody's doing really well. <laughs> Shockingly. How often does The Sims post a roadmap? Um, they usually do them, they used to call them quarterly teasers. Um, and now they call them roadmaps, but they're posting them for the quarter. Um, so it's every few months, like usually every like, three months-ish um, is kind of how it ends up being. Okay. Are you done yet? This takes so long. Four times per year. But there's not like, you can't always exactly predict when it's gonna be. We just know that we can kind of guesstimate and hope for soon. Um, you can like gemology. That makes my life easier if you do. We still have two kits for this quarter. <gasps> ah! No! Oh my god! We And to think we were talking about kits at the same time my cat died? It's like two bad things all at once! <laughs> oh, we knew, it was gonna, we knew it was gonna happen. We knew Broccoli was going to die somewhat soon. It doesn't make it any less, any, any easier. Oh wait, I like that necklace better than- that's like what I have now, except it looks better. Put that on. I like the black metal instead. Yeah, that looks pretty good. Okay, let me come watch the cat die then. Of course it died in the kids room, that's terrible. Way to like traumatize the children, you know? The cat death is the first thing you saw in the stream? Oh no. Someone else, I just got here and I don't know who Broccoli is, but rest in peace. <laughs> this is my beloved cat. Oh, this is terrible. Go to sleep. Don't look, don't look. Sleep through it, sleep through it, kid. You don't need, this is gonna traumatize you. <laughs> it's okay, I, I'm gonna let the cat die. I, we, everybody was like, plead for it, give it an age down treat, but we have eight Sims, it's too much. Just go. Just take it, Grim. I can't look. Why haven't you taken it yet? Yeah, and you can't plead for pets, by the way. It's not really, uh, I mean, at this point, you definitely can't. It's too late, but... 
Yeah, Grim really took his sweet time just then. <sighs> well. There's another one. I believe that makes it 281 graves, officially. <laughs> so that's really quite something. <laughs> I'll let Elphaba sleep it off a little bit more, and then we'll deal with stuff in the morning. Okay, um, we do not have work today, so we can age up the toddlers in peace, which will also be very helpful. Um, I have, while they're sleeping, we've got a couple links that, that C sent to us for some CC, um, which uh, these might be kind of good. These are the vampire hairs, so we can download the recolor of that one that I wanted. Um, and then these are these are kids' room stuff ones, so these might be an easy safe bet. We could give denim like this hair, and then it's all fine. We I think I've used this hair too much recently, so we should probably do something different. But um, C said C C. Yeah, I know. <laughs> C C said C C. <laughs> Uh, but we'll probably download those once the kids age up and we'll replace them. Um, all right. Well, I guess we need to work on our charisma skill. Do you want to do that now, boss? You can just come talk to yourself in a mirror. It's spring! Life is starting to improve nowadays. This is good. Oh, and I should probably save. All right, save game. Um, yeah, Noodles has made some really fantastic recolors that have kind of been saving the day for us with this. Have I thought about making a cemetery for them? Listen, listen. Um, I, I understand people's desire when they tell me I should make a cemetery. Um, the issue is I will never do that. <laughs> I really, really like having them in the front yard. I just think it's so funny. Um, so I don't really have any desire to make a separate cemetery. This, we live in the cemetery. This is the cemetery. Like, graves are just fun. So, I, I like them where they are. <laughs> I'd like to keep them. <laughs> okay, this baby's gonna get a bath. I guess I'm gonna have to bathe this baby too in a minute. Oh my god. You don't have work today, so you can give the dog a bed treat. Wait, I, I know I have some health treats in my inventory. Um, okay. You take this. I will give it to little pulp. Let me get a picture of this though, because this is kind of iconic, I fear. Look at that. Rudolph the Red-Nosed Reindeer. Had a very shiny nose. Okay, come on. Give a vet treat. Well, in the street. We'll save this one. Honestly, Pulp, it, you're so right. It is like genuinely insensitive of Pulp to get sick right now, right after Broccoli died. Like, we're all still distraught over Broccoli, and then Pulp's like, I'm sick. No. No. <laughs> you can't do that. That's bad. You aren't allowed to be sick. All right, one day until Smurf ages up. Ah! No! Oh my god. She died in the trash pile? <gasps> Not them both dying all at once right in the middle of the trash. <laughs> oh, that's not right. That's so messed up. Oh, tofu. I gotta be honest. I like tofu best. This one hurts the most. Oh, I'm so sorry. And now the Grim Reaper's gonna take like 50 years to come take tofu as well. I can't deal with this. Just bathe the- no, bathe the kids instead of looking at it. Don't watch. Don't watch! Okay, this one needs fed- oh good, good, good. Okay. <sighs> Pulp's trying to like steal their thunder. Meanwhile, everybody else is dying and Pulp's out here like, oop. I'm dead. Still can't evolve these either. Yeah, I don't really even want to see this. What if Pulp dies in a few minutes? No, Pulp can't die. Pulp is immortal, so we don't have to worry about that. Well, Grim, just take her. I can't look. I can't watch. I actually can't watch. 
Oh my god, both the kids are out here too. Can you stop? I want you to have a bath. I don't want you to have to look at this. Oh no. At least they're- you know what? Maybe it's for the best. Because at least they're like double sad. Like they're kind of getting all their sadness out at once. So when you think about it, this is good. You know? It'll be- now it'll be over quick. We're- we're being efficient about the sadness. That's a good way of thinking about it. <laughs> Am I gonna adopt a dog now? No, I'm not getting another pet until I'm done having toddlers in my house. I'm waiting until the kids are older. I actually cannot do this. I actually cannot do this. So. Well, Dan apparently it was Dan's Twitch partner anniversary yesterday, and he didn't remember until right now. <laughs> he remembered last week, but then he forgot yesterday, apparently is what I've just been told. Oh my god, they actually won't take care of the kids. Grim, will you just take the cat away? That took like minutes. Minutes. Okay, well now, that's one less thing to worry about, I guess. <sighs> that was unpleasant. Okay, you come feed the cow plant. Moss, I guess you're gonna have to bathe the other kid because Elphaba won't do it. And you're getting hungry and you won't eat like I told you to. I left for two minutes. You left for two minutes and both the cats died? <laughs> Oh no, that is really unfortunate. That is really, really unfortunate. <laughs> okay, so after the kids take care of their needs, we'll have them all come in and eat and stuff. Did you not bathe the other toddler? Tell me it's not happening again. Oh my god, I've tried like 50 times. I'm cheating it, I'm cheating it. I tried so many times to bathe this kid, I actually cannot deal with that. Okay, would you care to make me some more food? This might be good for us. That's your sister, I don't wanna to talk to you. That's some pasta. We'll, we'll spawn a bunch more. We never have to cook again now, because we have this. Pizza? Pepperoni pizza? Pepperoni pizza, okay. Well, that makes things easier for us. Maybe one more. Oh, hamburger, okay. That's good, come grab a serving. Oh, stop crying. Oh, we are in for it now. This is gonna be a long day. Take a shower, maybe you could practice making drinks. All right, these kids are probably gonna need to get aged up. Should I just do it now? They have zero days left, right? I'll just, I'll have, um, I'll have Elphaba eat and then we can just cook something. Yeah, both the cats died. It's been rough, it's been rough uh, over here in this house today. Um, make a matcha tea cake, that's green. Um, okay. Well, are you done? What if one of the kids eats the cake before the candles are added? Oh no, I'll be quick enough. I'll fix it so they can't do that to me. Don't worry. What? Did you not give? Oh my god. Maybe, maybe the, um, the cat dying distracted us and we didn't get the vet treat to Pulp. Pulp doesn't even like me. That doesn't seem right. I'll fix it. <laughs> yeah, I can't believe they died on the, I can't believe they died on the same day because you're right. We didn't get them at the same time. Like um, we had broccoli first, and then um, tofu came with Elphaba. Like tofu was Elphaba's childhood cat. So it's very unlucky, very unlucky that they would die at the same time. I've hardly watched your not so very. Does it matter which video I start on? No, I think you can start today. 
If you've got any questions, we can answer them in chat. Um, I mean, you're kind of here at a good time because we're so early into the generation. Like, we have these fresh babies that we're trying to age up as the heirs. So you're here at a good time to start because um, the next gen is going to be th this one, not that one, this one. Um, so you're going to see their whole life if you start now. That's the thing about um, these legacy challenges. Every generation is kind of like a new mini series. So um, there's not really a bad time to start because it, it's always something new going on, right? Okay, I'm just going to age them up because it is their birthday now. So we'll do that and then we can go get the new CC and everything. Okay, come on. Ew, the house is a mess because of these kids. I'm excited for them to not be messy anymore. I don't want to give money to charity in, in this. We are we don't have enough money right now. Sorry. Okay, take a bath. Oh. Shrek is showing signs of growing old. Oh my god, what's next? Every single one of our pets is gonna die. <laughs> oh, all right. I'm pretty committed. Correct me if I'm wrong, you guys, but I'm pretty committed to Jort being the heir. I think I will have Jort be the heir. So I'll randomize um, Denim's traits. I, I think we all want Jort. We've been saying it since they were only a baby. Like, uh, I think we know what we want. Add the birthday candles. There we go. Let's help lock candles, Jort. And then we'll go download the CC and go into cast. Um, So we'll do that. Can we put pronoun check? Yeah, um, this is, oops, this is Moss. They, them pronouns. This is Elphaba, she, her pronouns. Um, Denim and Jort both use she, her pronouns too, at least for now. Um, and the baby is he, him pronouns. But we haven't really decided about their lives yet, so. Um, okay, so we have to do not so berry. Let me look at the rules so I can show you. Um, we have to get the blue gen traits now, which is very exciting. Um, so in this challenge, we have to be gloomy and perfectionist and family oriented. We're gonna be a super parent eventually, and we're gonna adopt at least one child is kind of the main thing. I think that I might pick perfectionist first. And as a child, I might get us like creative genius or something. I don't really want to be gloomy right now if I don't have to be. I might be perfectionist first. Um, and then we can go, let me close the game because we have to download the CC. Um, and then we will go from there. Denim was goofball. Denim was a goofball. I had to think about that for a second. We'll see it in cast, don't worry. <laughs> All right, I'm gonna start downloading that CC um, and then we'll, we'll get it all installed. Um, okay, so I'm getting a couple bits um, and then I have these as well. I can link them in the chat again. I'm downloading um, a recolor of the vampire hairs and a recolor of the kids room and uh, spooky stuff hairs from Noodle CC on Tumblr right now. So that we can have some uh, hairs for the children. Okay, let me get those documents, electronic cards, Sims 4 mods. Okay, um, I have never had this much hair CC, at least not in a long time. I don't, you guys know I don't really use custom content anymore. So um, this is quite fun. Or mods. Okay, let me grab these and I can reopen the game now. Yay! <laughs> the new baby is named Smurf Wimble. Thank you for asking. All right, we're back. Short detour, <laughs> but we're back and then we'll go into cast and dress them up and stuff, which will be kind of fun. Um, Webs and Coco and Adam, thank you for the subs. How do you even go about using and getting CC? Um, there's lots of different ways. Uh, a lot of people get CC on places like Tumblr, for example, um, and then you just download the package files and put them in your mods folder. You might be better off like Googling tutorials and stuff uh, if you have questions about how CC works. 
um, because then you'll be able to get a better explanation um, and like see pictures and stuff to like walk you through it. Um, but yeah, I'm not a big uh, custom content person these days. But anyway, there's a lot of step-by-step -step videos on YouTube and people also like to do like CC finds type of videos where they'll link good stuff. Um, so there's a lot of resources out there for places. And once you find a creator that you like, you can, I mean, like download all their things if you really wanted to. <laughs> um, like the Sims resource? Oh, the Sims resource is, um, the ads are really a lot on the Sims resource. The waiting ages to download the thing from the Sims resource. Um, I get most of my CC from Tumblr and from like people's Patreons directly. Um, is usually where I get it. Um, but yeah, the Sims resource is a, is a wild one. So. I don't know, I have so many memories of downloading Sims 3 hairs from the Sims resource and it would take you like ages to get them all downloaded because you have to like watch all the ads and stuff. <laughs> um, yeah, it takes forever to get through all the downloads when you're trying to use it. <laughs> there is some good stuff on there, but just something to be aware of. Um, okay. Well. Yeah, a lot of creators don't upload their work to, the, to all of their stuff to the Sims resource anymore. It's kind of interesting. It depends on the person and stuff and what you're looking for. Um, you paid for no ads and it was worth it on the Sims resource? If you use it a lot, it could be. Um, I have paid for no ads periodically on the Sims resource, but like at times where I was doing like a CC shopping video, I would pay for no ads like that month and then cancel it. Um, stuff like that, but... Um, okay. Cast dot full edit mode. Let's go. We got some work to do. Must make over Sims. Blonde? Well, they aged up blonde, Whimsy, because um, we there, we don't have like a lot of blue hair defaults. So they aged up blonde and now we have to um, fix. <laughs> they did have blue hair, but then it got ruined. So this is our heir, probably. Um, we'll see, I guess. Um, I don't really know. We're gonna have to probably get some blue eyebrows now that I think about it. Um. Uh-oh. Did I not download them? I got recolors of the vampire hair. Maybe if I just... Imagine I put it in the wrong place and I opened the whole game. No, we're fine. Okay. Um, we had like kind of a sky blue vibe going on. So I'd like to continue the sky blue energy with this sim. I think that's really cute. Um, usually I have to restart. Oh, like your game? Yeah, yeah, I restarted my game. Oh my god. Spellcasters are so annoying in cast. Um, I did restart my game. You can't download CC when your game is open. You gotta close it, download it, and then reopen it. Um, she does magics. Yeah, she does have vitiligo, yeah. Um, and it actually aged up correctly with her as uh, from her being a, a child. When we aged up from an infant into a... Oh, maybe not all of it did. Some of it did. Um, when we aged up from an infant into a toddler, it didn't stay. But um, we can put it back now. Denim is not a spellcaster. Just Jort and Smurf are spellcasters. Poor Denim... Um, did not get the spellcaster genes. <laughs> yeah, it like ages up and switches it to birthmarks. Yeah, that's a common bug um, where it switches it to birthmarks. It like keeps a skin detail, but not the right skin detail that you had set upon aging up. Um, maybe I'll randomize some likes and dislikes just so I can get us kind of a vibe. You don't like orange, you do like blue. Um, him. You like ranch oh, music. <laughs> you like pet enthusiasts you enjoy stories, and you hate horse riding. Huh. That's a combo. Okay, well, first of all, I think the number one thing at the moment is just that we need to wear jorts. For at least one of our outfits, we have to be a jorts person. It's like, kind of a necessity, <laughs> given the fact that we are named Jort. <laughs> um, 
Yeah, the hating horse riding but loving ranch music and loving pet lovers is so funny. That's kind of cute. What do you think about that? Um, let me look at all of the blue shoes. Um. Okay. Sneakers? I think those sneakers are kind of cute. We could do like some little sneakers and then we could put some bluish socks. I don't have blue of those. Might have to knit us some new socks. We can do those. Sorry, I'm texting my dad back. I think my dad phone is soaked, fried. Do you think he, somehow my dad dropped his phone in water um, is, is the news. So sorry to be texting while I'm streaming, but that's not good. <laughs> that is not good at all. Um, okay, let me think about, are there any like necklaces that we want or anything? Oh, I guess you can't wear them with this shirt. That's okay. Perhaps he should not be texting on it then. He might be texting me from his laptop. I'm not sure. Um, all right. Well, that's a good first outfit. I'd probably get us a couple. Um, it might not be completely ruined. It might be okay depending on how long it was in the water for. That doesn't have the like sky blue energy of my dreams. This is kind of cute in sky blue. But phones are like pretty uh, water resistant these days. So it might be all right, depending. We'll see. Obviously it doesn't mean you want to like put them in the water on purpose, but in case of emergency, <laughs> it, might, it might be okay. We'll see if it dries out. Um, so, I do like that. I think that shirt is pretty cute too. Oh my god, I'm getting so annoyed at her doing this. I'm trying to like hold it in. I'm getting really frustrated. <laughs> Mads, thank you for the 19 months. Um, those could be her two everyday outfits. Maybe for formal, you washed your husband's phone by accident and it did not survive. Uh-oh. I could see that. Yeah, you can do, um, there's a cheat, it's cast clock speed zero, and they stop moving. Um, I don't really want them to do that, because I find the, like, slowed speeds to be kind of weird. Even when you put it at, like, 0.5, so they move less, I find it kind of creepy when they're, when it's slowed. Um, so I don't really want to. <laughs> I know, I know it's an option, but, um, yeah, I find it kind of, like, eerie looking at them. <laughs> Thought she was an alien? No, her mom's a spellcaster and so is she. They are both spellcasters. I was thinking about giving us some like pretty little tights. I like the idea of that with our pretty dress. Um, okay. That's gonna be so helpful for werewolves. Yeah, it's if you find their animations annoying, it, it is helpful. Um, the kids, they, they jump around a lot. <laughs> <laughs> it's really kind of a, a bit much, but I don't know if I've used this. Let's try this one. Um, maybe not those sweatpants. The problem with them is that they're like all a little bit... Oh, those are cute. I like the pattern. We could probably use that combo, right? Maybe we could get a hat too. Like a baseball cap kind of vibe. Is there not one? Did I scroll past it? Surely there is a baseball hat. We have like helmets. There, no, 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 this one is what I was thinking about. Or this one. Blue? Oh, it's not that blue. But it's, it's okay. Um, thought a cult children don't show their powers until they're teens. Yeah, they, this sim has no powers. You can just see that they're a spellcaster in cast. Um, they don't have any powers though. Um, 
What is a jort? <laughs> Jorts are jean shorts. Shorts are jean shorts. Um, I know it's kind of weird, but that's what it is. Okay, I'll get some little socks for you too. And then maybe for her party wear, she can have like, I don't know. You just call them jean shorts. Um, my mom, sorry, my mom is texting me now too. I got one of my wedding um, save the dates got returned to sender to me. Um, and it was like addressed to the right place. So we're trying to figure out why. My mom just said, is there a stamp? Yes, I put a stamp on it. What, what do you mean, mom? <laughs> of course there's a stamp. If, if I didn't have a stamp and it got returned back, I would have threw that out myself. <laughs> Yes, I put a stamp on it. <laughs> if, if I got it back in the mail and there was no stamp, I would have known. But no, I don't know why it happened. Maybe it got delivered to the wrong address. And then they just uh, sent it back. I don't know. Now I have to send it again. Okay. Maybe... Oh, that's not blue enough. Too much green. That's pretty cute in blue. That might be good for our hot weather, I think. Cause it has jort energy, but it's like, you know, overalls. Imagine grandma secretly mad at you and send it back herself. It was my cousin. Are they trying to tell me something? <laughs> Um, no, I'll just have to resend it though. That's kind of annoying because, um... Oh, I don't want hot weather. But I made the envelope all fancy and everything. But it's okay. It's okay. Um... I really like these little necklaces. I think that's so cute. Um, so that's our hot weather. I have to do party and swimwear still. Maybe I'll do swimwear first. That does come in blue. That's so cute. Don't, don't be blue. I don't know. Keep that, I guess, plain. Um, what else? Should we do any extra swimwears? I don't know. Maybe a couple? We're never gonna wear any of them, are we? So it doesn't really matter, but it's kind of fun. Colors, blue. Okay, so. Oh, I love the little polka dots. I wonder if we could put denim in like something like this. I don't know. Maybe, eh. Should we wear like a shirt and, and jorts again <laughs> for, our, for our every day? I think just generally speaking, jeans are probably good for the party outfit and it's good to wear more jeans altogether. I do like a lot of these blue shirts. Oh, that's cute. Let's try that. It's kind of gray, but we can try it. Make that kind of a blue color. Oh, not blue enough. No, 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 no. Colors, blue. I keep using the ones from the that kit, but they're just really good for this, I think. So that's why I keep going for it. Okay, little blue. Do you want a bracelet? I keep using the blue bla bracelet, but it's just cute. Okay, and then last, we have everyday, formal, athletic, sleepwear, party wear, swimwear, hot weather. Cold weather is last. I might get us a cute hat. I like the idea of that. I love the shade of blue that her hair is. I think that's really nice. I really like it. Um. Oh, I love that kind of sky blue color. Maybe we could do this and then wear some like blue jeans. Blue boots? Oh, that's good. Okay. I think that might be short. Did we make her that blue or was she just that way? Well, so she was born green because their mother is green. 
Um, but we changed them to be blue because it would make no sense if our blue gen was green. Um, but, you know, her mother's green, so she's blue. I don't think that's that weird. Um, but anyway, I did change her skin color, but in a reasonable way. <laughs> I don't think it was that bad what we did. Okay, so this is denim. Um, we have a couple of options. I downloaded the vampire hairs in a recolor too. Denim always had like a darker blue hair. Um, we, I've seen some people talking about maybe Denim being a trans man, which I think is really fun. Um, I don't know if we have appropriate custom content <laughs> for this. So let me just look really quickly. We also got the kids room ones. So we have a couple more of these. I guess this one's better. Um, I've used this hair a bunch already, so I don't really want to use that one. Um... Emo denim? Emo denim? Oh. Maybe. <laughs> you like this one or the vampires one better? I almost like this one better, but I'm not sure. Are we emo as a child? Is there even enough blue? that is emo? Okay, you want the vampire's hair then. Is that what you're trying to tell me? Let me show you the other option. This is the other one. I'm okay with it. We can try it. Maybe I'll give denim, um, Oh, look at the little gap in your teeth. Wait, did your sister have anything? And let me check. Oh, I like when they have like special teeth. That's so fun. Um, you think that they're bitter because they were overlooked due to not having spellcaster abilities? Oh God. The thing is, even if, even if like he wasn't overlooked, I can imagine having some like, I can imagine there being some upset. Cause imagine like you have, there's three kids and like both of your sisters have magic powers and you don't. Like that sucks. That's actually really upsetting. <laughs> so I, I can see how there would be some resentment. Like if your twin had magic powers and you didn't, um, even if you like, it's no one's fault, like it's random, but I can see, I can see like a feeling of being left out and stuff. Um, even if the parents don't treat you that way on purpose, I, like, you could see it happening. Um, so that's sad. <laughs> that is unfortunate. Okay, there are some really cute clothes that it, that are blue, so we can go through a lot of different options here. We're doing, like, a darker blue than what our sister wore, because she had more of, like, a sky blue energy. Oh, that is really good. That's the spirit. That's the spirit. Um, I don't really know what shoes to wear with them. Who will be the heir? Oh, people have been wanting Jort to be the heir for ages. Ever since Jort was first born, um, it's been, uh, it's been on the cards, I guess one could say. Um, okay, that's cool. Do you wanna have, we've been giving everybody nail polish. I might do that too, just for fun. Um, all right, maybe, I don't really know how to achieve this, this emo thing that the people are asking for, at least right now, at, at this phase that we're in, this is not emo, but this energy, I think is kind of cute. <laughs> I still like the other hair better. I know that you all like this hair better, but I still like the kids room one better, I think. I don't know. We can have an emo thing when we're older, but I still like this hair better. What a dapper young fellow. <laughs> 
We can be- look, look, look. We have a dapper young fellow phase. And then we have an emo phase. We'll have more options for our emo phase as teens. You're right. Okay, let me randomize some of this stuff quick. Um, you can't dislike blue! Oh my god. You can dislike pink. Um, you like lullabies radio, you enjoy high energy sims, you like silly behavior, and you like horse riding. Oh, your sister hates horse riding. Okay, we'll have to customize, like, some of the options more when we're older. We can't do it yet, but, um... We'll see. His vibe scream theater kid? Oh, maybe. What if he does dislike blue? Oh, that would be really unfortunate, him disliking blue. He can dislike blue for now. We must have blue glasses. You're right. Wait, that's kind of cute. We could join the after school acting. That's cute too, I like that. Um... Oh. That's good. I think I'm gonna make us wear jeans for our formal wear. I know it's like not the most formal thing around, but we can like tone down our formal wear just a bit with the jeans. Um, and I think that would be good. Yeah, I like that. Okay. He looks like your grandpa. <laughs> I'm glad that you think so. That's kind of fun. Okay. Yeah, I like the vibes of that. It's very, it's all very samey in color. Maybe I do different jeans. I do prefer these jeans. What do these look like? Those are a bit darker. I think I like the cuff on these. I don't know. It's kind of random though, isn't it? But a light wash is bad. That's not as... Mm. We're never gonna wear the formal outfit, so it doesn't matter that much. <laughs> if we think about this realistically, we're not gonna be wearing the formal clothes, so we don't have to be anything fancy. Um... Jorts? No. <laughs> no, 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 sorry. Is he gonna have a villain arc? You think Denim should have a villain arc? I hadn't really considered the thought of a villain arc. I was more thinking like, I, I don't know, I guess, I guess I just didn't think about villain. Um, okay, glasses again? Can I have, is there like a hat that, I guess this one doesn't really match. I like the idea of wearing a hat for multiple outfits. It's kind of fun. Okay. Patty and Dex and Lilibet and Queen and Pearl, thank you for the subs. Okay. Think he should be a celebrity when he grows up? You think so? I mean, we already have, like, us being a goofball, I think is, is kind of helping to channel our future star power. Like, I think we're kind of already on our way there. Just because we are already a goofball. So, we're off to a good start. Um, maybe he, what if he becomes, like, a different kind of, how about this? Oh, maybe no glasses for sleepwear. What if he becomes, like, a different kind of occult type? <gasps> no! Oh my god, look at this one. We talked about them being a- <laughs> He's a dapper young fellow! Look! <laughs> okay, what kind of shoes do you pair with this? Is there a different top that's better? Um, what if he ends up a vampire? Maybe. Guys, I don't know what kind of shoes you'd give a sim with this sort of outfit. 
You know a demon mod? Okay, I don't know about that. I think that might be a little bit far even for me, bro. I think, I think that might have gone too much. Is this even blue enough? I don't like the color of the browns though. I don't know if I like this shirt. He's trans, so clearly he should be a werewolf. You think so? Wait. Wait, 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 wait. I'm sorry. Did I just see what I think I saw? We may have to change up our dapper young fellow thing. I think werewolf might be more fun. We can have a- we can begin our obsession with wolves now. I love this sim. <laughs> I'm having a lot of fun with this, actually. <laughs> Let me think. What What about like a... I don't know. I, I think like a simple shirt... <laughs> might be good. No. No. Oh! Oh my god. I know what to do. I know what must be done. Don't worry, everybody. I've got it. Double denim. The Sims name is denim. It has to be done. It has to be done. <laughs> okay, color is blue. There we go. What about like... I don't really care about shoes. I guess like... Just some little blue sneakers are probably fine. You can wear the ones your sister wears, the same socks. They have they have two pairs of mismatched socks. They keep like wearing each other's mismatched socks. Okay. Um for our swimwear, something like that's probably good. Oh, I forgot about our glasses, sorry. Put that there that there put that there okay hot weather um i guess we should wear some jorts i mean it only feels right right maybe these in blue i need something a little bit more fancy oh like this that has good vibes you weren't planning on twin. Did you have twins by accident? Uh-oh. Let me tell you. I've been there. It hurts. It hurts. <laughs> I like the cargo jorts. I think that we should have our blue nail polish too. Just as like a little nod to... I like, I like really go going up with the blue. In every opportunity we get. Okay. Um... So, maybe for jackets, I always like this one, but is that, oh, this one's maybe better. It's a little bit darker. Were shorts and denim intentionally twins? Yeah, I think that I cheated for twins on purpose, which I ended up regretting, um, but it is what it is. It is what it is. Okay, just for two outfits, I'll wear the wolf hat. Not all outfits, just for two of them. Just for two of them. Okay, I will put them on the gallery in a minute. I think I might wait because Smurf is gonna age up today too. So we'll have to age up Smurf in a minute. So we'll, we'll be back into Cass and we'll be back for the gallery. Um, don't worry. You never thought you'd see Simsy have fun in cast? No, I do have fun in cast sometimes. I, I just get a little bit anxious and a bit stressed um, when uh, people are being weird, I guess. Um, and I don't always think that I'm that good at cast. Like, I sometimes have a hard time putting together outfits and, like, feeling like I'm, um, 
good at it, I guess you could say. I don't know. I just overthink. I, and I, I always feel a bit embarrassed when I think that I'm doing like a bad job and that the clothes I'm picking look bad. Um, but I do have fun in cast. It's just I would prefer to build, you know? But everybody, that, that's fine. Like everybody has their preferences. Um, so. Oh. Okay, Jort is also gonna, not Jort, sorry. Smurf is also gonna need aged up. And I might even just do that now. What if we just did it now, just to get it over with? Cause I, <gasps> don't sneak a taste. I have birthday candles. It's probably for the best if we just do it now. Oh, and I'll save the game as well. Woo, yikes. <laughs> yikes. Um, do you think the wellness treats are not working? They were bugged in your game. Oh, has Pulp still not gotten the wellness treat? Oh no, I think Pulp's okay. Pulp must just be like mad about something else, but I can fix that. When did Jort become a child? Oh, just a second ago. We were just in cast giving them outfits. Um, that's what we've been doing in cast this whole time. Was doing, Jort and uh, Denim are both their twins. So they became children at the same time. Smurf is a spellcaster. Yes, indeed. Okay, we'll have to redo the bedrooms then as well now. All right, inquisitive toddler. All right, here we officially have Smurf. Let's go into cast and fix this one. Where did the cats go? Oh, <laughs> um, the two cats that we had, they both died all at once. So <laughs> we are not thriving. It's been rough. They were both old, so we knew it was happening. Um, no, I know for a fact I have more than that. What hairs, can I filter by blue? Okay, these are the only hairs that I have blue recolors of. Oh, maybe I should do like, I guess that's kind of mint though. We don't really want it to be mint. Um, that's like a periwinkle and it's the same color as your skin. <gasps> that one's different color than your sibling's hair. So can you keep the hair white to keep the Smurf vibe? Guys. It's not, we can't go, we have to do blue. We have to do blue. Remember, remember what we came here for. It's the blue not so berry challenge. We have to commit to the blue. Okay. So. Oh, I like that darker blue. Oh wait, we said elf costume, didn't we? Oh, that's right. Cause the kid's name is Smurf. Oh God. Even the hat? For every outfit? When my brother was a child, um, my mom had a real big problem because Brett insisted, he, w he was like a pirate for Halloween, and then he insisted on always wearing the pirate costume. Yeah. Like, all the time. <laughs> um, including an eye patch. And then when he didn't, wear the pirate costume because she would have to like wash it. It would be like a battle to get him to stop wearing the pirate costume so that she could wash it. Um, he had a serious pirate phase for like a couple months. Um, so this kid having an elf phase, I think makes perfect sense. <sighs> I think it checks out like, I can see it. Does it change your ears to be pointy when you wear the hat? Oh my god, maybe we should give our kids pointy ears. Just because they're spellcasters? Can I get to your ears? Hold on. Just for fun, just for fun. I kind of like that. 
Denim, you can have pointy ears too. Even. <laughs> no, you can't. Oh man, there's no pointy ears because you're a human. <laughs> oh, that sucks. <laughs> he can't have pointy ears. Oh, I'm really sorry, buddy. That stinks. Okay, let me upload them to the gallery, though. Look at what Pulp looks like in that picture. Yikes. Okay. My Gen 9 Sims for the Not So Berry Challenge. Ready? They count as having CC, obviously, because of the kid's hair. But, oh no. <gasps> Oh dear. Okay, well they're up. I'm gonna go into game and save <laughs> really quick. I'm gonna go save because I'm starting to get scared. Uh, yikes. <laughs> That's really bad. Oh. All right, it should be fine. Now we can work on their bedrooms because we can redo some bedroom stuff too. Yeah, we had saved just before. So it would have just been the toddler and the toddler doesn't really have anything fancy. It's all the same outfit. So it wouldn't have been that big of a deal for us to set it up. Like, it would have been fine. <laughs> but it's okay. Um, so we'll go back in, we'll save again, then we'll do the rooms. Do you want to do the kids' room first or the toddler's room first? Important questions. Which one is more important? I'm kind of feeling like doing the kids' room. Kids? Okay. Most people are saying kids. So, let's just save quick. We do have some stuff, because we have like pre-existing toddler stuff in their room. So we can use some of it for the, the next room. Um, and like some of this stuff that Smurf has can probably stay. Like I'll get rid of that. I'll get rid of the changing table. I'll keep the cloud stuff. We can get rid of this crib, but like some of these things can stay in Smurf's room. I'll just give you, maybe a, I'll move some of it over. We'll do it, we'll actually decorate it last, but I'll just move some things so that he has options. Okay, so as far as the rest of the room goes, let's think this through. We're gonna wanna fit Two beds. This might be a good time for us to try bunk beds. It's kind of what I'm thinking. We can build that wall out and we can do a bunk bed in here. I don't know. Let me paint the walls back to plain. How long do I normally stream? I'm usually live for about three hours, uh, Mini, so I'll be here until seven my time, which is about 30 minutes from now. Um, okay, so let me think about this. What do you, well, let me just look at all the bunk beds. Let me, all, let me just go through all the blue bunk beds and we can figure it out from there. How about that as a start? Um, who gets the top bunk? Oh, that's a good question. I don't know. <laughs> I hadn't really thought about that part yet. Um, what kind of bunk beds do you want to use? I don't like that one that much. These are not very... Oh, that one's fun. I like the color of that. And then we could get like pretty much any other single bed to put on the bottom half. Oh, you know what I've been saying I want to use? From Parenthood. We have, oh, maybe not that one. What is it from? There's like a cloud bed color. I know there is, I've seen it. I just had to find it. Oh, that one. It is Parenthood, it's the other one. Okay, it's kind of like tie-dye, not really cloud, but whatever. I think that looks cool together. Kids room, not parenthood. Oh, there you go. Thank you, sorry. 
That was kids room, not parenthood. <laughs> now I feel embarrassed. Um, I might steal this cloud thing again, because I quite like the cloud energy that we have in this room. I think that's kind of cool. It's a cute combo. And then we can look at some more. I like the parenthood furniture. I might steal this. Just so we can get like a proper dresser. Can that be scooted over a little bit more? Yeah. We already have the cloud ceiling, look, from when they were younger, so. Should I get a darker blue for denim? Um, I mean, the only problem is that like the vibes are kind of off. I'm okay with the, the bedroom generally having a lighter blue color scheme, um, cause we know what we're going for with the rest of it, you know? So I think it's okay if the bedroom has like a slightly lighter blue color scheme cause they all just like blue. So it's fine. Okay, so in this challenge, um, let me show you the rules again. So we have to be, uh, obviously we know that we're gonna have to be a perfectionist, gloomy, and family oriented. We're gonna do photography, cooking, and parenting skills. Um, sorry for yawning, oh my goodness. Um, so we can't really work on photography right now. Um, but I guess we can pick like an extra side quest for ourselves. Um, Denim is gonna hate this room. It's okay, they don't know that though. Sims are not smart enough to understand that the bedrooms and stuff are the color they don't like. <laughs> the color disliking doesn't actually mean anything. <laughs> um, so they'll be fine, they'll be fine. I don't like any of these things. I guess this bear will be okay. Um, oh, you can do photography as a child now. Oh, that's true actually. But if photography is not something that we need to put anything in our room for. Um, so we don't need to worry about, that's where what I was talking about is that we didn't need to put any like specific skill building items inside of this room. Um, and that is true that we don't have to do that, I guess. Um, They do notice fashion choices, but it's kind of buggy. Are you sure? <laughs> I feel like I have never seen them care about the fashion choices at all. Uh, maybe I'm wrong. I don't know. I'm thinking about putting either a dollhouse or a desk in this little nook. I don't love the dollhouse. You've had your Sims complain about fashion. Oh, fashion choices is different than color. Um, yeah, fashion choices is a different like and dislike than color. Um, Cause they tried to make a whole thing about the fashion choices category. Um, and like the style of the bedrooms, but color is different. Um, sorry, those are two different likes and dislikes. The color is what I mean. The color is like non-existent, doesn't affect them. Fashion choices is separate. Kids don't have fashion choice preferences anyway. Um, maybe the kids room desk? Cause that comes in like a pretty bluish color. Um, yeah, guys, sorry if I like misspoke or maybe you misunderstood what I was saying. Obviously your Sims are affected by likes and dislikes. <laughs> they care about music. They care about um, like the style of rooms. Uh, they care about like other Sims personality traits. It's the color likes and dislikes that don't affect them. <laughs> um, the color, I assure you, does not affect them. Um, the other ones they get affected by for sure. That's, that is how it works, but not the, um, not the others. Um, okay. Cheesy, Lucy, Ali, Daphne, and Rock, and Ivar, and Livin, and Silver, thank you for the subs. I really appreciate that. Um, okay. So, I think me, Mel B said that I haven't read their sub, except I thought I was caught up with subs. Did I not read it? I don't even know if I see your sub on the list. I'm really sorry. Thank you for the sub. I fully thought I was caught up with subs, but if I wasn't, I'm really sorry if I missed things. I um, definitely have my moments, as we all know. I'm really sorry if that's the case, but I thought I was caught up. Uh, but thank you. <laughs> 
<laughs> Thank you, I really appreciate it. Um, I thought I was caught up. I don't know what happened. I don't even know which ones I didn't read then because I thought I was caught up. <laughs> Thank you all so much. I'm really sorry. <laughs> Clearly me being in cast is dangerous um, because I uh, lose focus. And I'm really sorry. Oh, now I want to cry. I'm really sorry. I thought I was doing good too. Man. Um, but thank you so much for the subs and stuff, chat. I really appreciate it. Um, that is very generous of you. Okay, I don't like that one. Um, none of these are like sky blue like I want them to be. This one actually is not bad. So maybe that could be a good one to use. Um... And then maybe I'll put like a little bit of a toy box. You know what? I don't really like to have them use the Blarfies anyway. I oftentimes will prefer to decorate it like this and like put a giant toy box in front of it just so we can have like a corner of, of cute toys all lined up. Um, that might be a kind of fun way to do this just to have some pretty things back there. I think I like that concept. Um, Oh my god, that reminds me, Leaf. Oh my god, I am so mad at Cameo. You guys, on Sunday morning, I cannot express to you how unbelievably distraught I was when I discovered this. Someone comes into my Discord and they're like, Hey Kayla, I messaged you everywhere asking to like buy a video from you on Cameo. I paid you on Cameo to ask for a video and like, uh, can, can I do it? And I don't do Cameo. I don't have Cameo, okay? I will sometimes do videos for people if they like reach out to me. Um, I'll like, someone will be like, hey, it's my kid's birthday, I'll film a video for them. I don't ask for money for that. So I don't get asked for, for it very often. I don't have a Cameo. I have an account where I saved the username, but it's disabled, it's deactivated. I don't have a Cameo. Last year, they added a feature where you can pay to DM someone, okay? I didn't know that. I made the account like five years ago. I haven't touched it since. It's all deactivated. So I thought. They automatically enables the ability to pay to message me. So everything on there is disabled, but not the pay to message me. And by default, it was $3 to send me a DM. So when this person says this to me, I'm like, what? I don't have anything enabled on Cameo. They're like, yes, you do. I say, I what? So I go and check, automatically enabled, without my permission. I never got an email. I never got a notification that I had gotten messages because I get emails from Cameo. I get emails from like the CEO of Cameo being like, it's like auto stuff, not just to me personally, but I get emails that are like, hey, you've been inactive for a while, come back. I've never got an email saying, hey, you've got messages sitting there. There was like eight people that had messaged me on Cameo and paid $3. I know it's like only eight people and only $3, but to me, I was distraught over this, okay? I was so upset. So I, and I didn't know, it, some of them were from like last May, because I think it got enabled back in May or something. So I replied to them all and I was like, I'm so sorry. I wasn't, I, I don't want you to think that I like scammed you or that I was ignoring you. I genuinely didn't know it was there. Like I didn't know it was a thing. I couldn't refund them. I don't even know how Cameo works. I was able to donate the money. It was actually kind of easy to donate money on Cameo. It was like, you can put your bank account or out of charity. And so it was like $21 or like $21 and 40 cents or something. Um, and I put it straight to Able Gamers and that was fast. Um, but I, so that was good, I guess. But I like messaged everybody back to apologize to them. But I was so, I was so upset about this on Saturday or Sunday or whenever I found it. Um, I, I really could not believe that they enabled that without my permission. Because my whole thing, the entirety of my cameo was like blank. I wonder if I could, um, let me see if I can find a screenshot of what it looked like. Because it showed me when you looked at my profile. Yeah, look at this. This is what the profile looked like. I didn't know, again, I hadn't been on there in ages, but it says temporarily unavailable, but you can message for $3. What? What? <laughs> so anyway, it's completely off now. I even removed my profile picture and said like, don't engage with this account. I'm not active on here. I just wanted the username saved, but I'm really very displeased with Cameo right now. I'm so mad that that happened. Um, so I, I like, I, I had everything else disabled. But I didn't know about that. Now that's disabled too. Um, but anyway, um, 
Did you put do not message me? Yeah, I think I did. Well, let me see what I put. Hold on. Lil Simsy cameo. <laughs> yeah, look. Ugh, go away. I said, not an active account. Only here to save username. Please do not engage here on Cameo. <laughs> and now it's off. So, um, there's that. Did you get the money? No, so it, it had put, I had like 21, let me show you. There was $21.73 in my Cameo. And then it let me, um, it was actually kind of cool. It was kind of easy to transfer it when I was like, it, you can add your bank account and you can transfer it to straight to a charity. I think it uses the like uh, PayPal giving fund, like, just like Twitch does. So they had like every charity on there. So I was able to just donate it. Um, and it's not that much money, but I was frustrated <laughs> that it even happened in the first place. Cause it's like people spent money thinking they were gonna contact me and I didn't even know it was there. <sighs> Um, yeah, Emily, like, you would try to save your username on places like this, at least I always do, because that way, like, A, what if I want to use Cameo in the future? At this point, I don't. <laughs> but B, like, you don't want someone to make a fake account of you. I don't know if that happens a lot on Cameo, but it's better to just prevent it, because now I have... It's saved, like, they can't... No one can do that. There's no... There can't be an impersonator, because I have a real one, but... Um, yeah, I don't use it. I've never used, I've never used Cameo. I've never been on Cameo. I just had the account saved and it was blank, you know? Um, but yeah, I was really upset about that. <laughs> I just felt like they scammed my audience, you know? <laughs> um, and they kind of did. They kind of did. All right, well, I'm gonna use the cloud wallpaper. Um, I don't think that people could scam that easily on Cameo because like the whole purpose of the platform is that you can buy like, personalized videos from people like the whole thing on cameo is like oh pay a celebrity to like make a video for you and talk to you um and so i don't know if you could scam that easily on there because it's like video messages but um yeah i don't know kind of scary <laughs> Brandon, thank you for the 73 months um jess and katie and cheesy and lucy and ellie and daphne thank you for the subs too um i really appreciate that um but yeah, that makes sense, Christine, that you would have thought that, um, I don't know. Yeah, but I was pretty frustrated. Again, I keep saying that again and again, but I just was like, you guys have no idea. I was so upset about this. <laughs> um, it was the first thing I saw when I woke up in the morning too. So I was like laying in bed, like furious, <laughs> trying to fix it. <laughs> oh God, it's okay though, it's gone now. It, the problem was solved. Um, okay, so let me think about, I love this whale thing, but there's not really enough wall space, I don't think. You've always felt weird about Cameo? Yeah, I think that, um, there are, there are situations where it's kind of cool. Um, some people charge a lot of money on there, which I guess, like, when the demand is that high, you, they can only do so many, so I guess that makes sense, but, and, and there is, I, there is a market for it. Like people ask me for videos a lot. Um, I, I get asked, I guess not that often, but occasionally I'll get asked people to like film a video for someone. Um, and I usually do it if I get asked, um, if I'm not like, you know, gone or something. Um, but people will charge like a hundred dollars for that. And I just think that's wild. I'm, it's like a child's birthday, you know, <laughs> I don't know, but there is a market to have a celebrity be like, Hey, happy birthday or whatever. So I get it. Um, but I don't really want to do that. So it was like $300 for one that you've seen. Yeah, um, people, it, it can be really expensive on there, depending on who it is. Like different people, obviously, the more famous you are, the more money you can get on Cameo. <laughs> um, but yeah, I don't really have any interest in doing that. Not for me. Um, even like mid-sized YouTubers charge so much there, do they? I haven't looked into it in so long. I wouldn't even, I wouldn't even know how much people are charging on there, to be honest. Um, but yeah, that's really interesting. <laughs> You've seen actors charging for like 300 to $500 for a cameo. Ugh. <laughs> um, that is a lot of money. That is a lot of money. Wow. Um. I didn't, I don't know about that. 
I guess, do they just like say whatever you ask them to say? To a, to a certain extent, probably. So maybe that's part of it. Um, usually the ones that I film for people that like contact me, it'll be like, hey, it's so-and-so's birthday. Can you say a birthday to them? Um, so it depends on the person. I, I don't just like get asked to film stuff for people. I wouldn't do that. Just say whatever, but <laughs> um, usually it's people asking for birthday messages for the most part. Um, anyway, fascinating. Um, oh, you know what we should get also is one of these so we don't burn the house down. How much more should we put? Yeah, or like voice actors doing things in character. That makes a lot of sense to me. Um, and it is a good opportunity because a lot of creators don't really have as much ability to monetize um, as like, I don't know, like I do stuff on YouTube and you can monetize on YouTube quite easily, right? But um, I don't know, I'm trying to think of examples, but like, um, Oh, maybe like like a like a uh, one of the Drag Race girls, like the the one of the queens from Drag Race. Um, Cameo might be a really good opportunity for them to kind of like capitalize off of the the opportunity of being on TV because um, they don't make a ton of money, you know. Um, and so that Cameo is good for stuff like that too, where it's like you could get a Cameo from your favorite drag queen. It's on Drag Race right now. Um, so I can see that being beneficial to them too. It just depends on who you are. And there are there is a market for it, um, but to a certain extent, it does feel kind of weird um, asking for money for that. You know, <laughs> um, it just depends. But oh, really, Patrick? Yeah, that's see, that's so fun. I love that. I love that people can do that. Um, but yeah, there's there's um there's good reasons behind it. I'm just very mad about Cameo right now because they enabled that without my permission. <laughs> If I had, if, uh, if, if that hadn't happened, I wouldn't have such negative opinions about Cameo, <laughs> but it did, so I do, <laughs> but that's a personal issue. <laughs> My issue with Cameo, it's, it's, uh, it's personal. <laughs> okay, let's get a little blue backpack too. I like that as well. Um, maybe if we got like a chair or something that was blue. Oh, a trans flag would be kind of fun. We could do that too. That's a good like last thing to add in on the wall, maybe above the bunk bed. Um, oh, how about like a little star? I never use that chair. But we could put the trans flag here in the beds. Because there's plenty of space on this wall. I wonder if we could try and mix and match. Oh my God, I'm lost. Whoa, whoa, <laughs> wait, hold on. <laughs> Let me see what I'm doing. I can't see what I'm doing. Help. Okay, there we go. I wonder if we could mix and match like some uh, posters or something down there. Oh, uh, well, maybe I'll wait until they're older. This is a good enough room for now. Let me fix the toddler's room quick. Um, is EA app not working? It wants you to restart it. Um, I think the EA app, is, EA app is fine. It might just want you to restart it so that it can, um, like, re. Oh, I hate this. Maybe put that over there. It might just want you to restart it because it might have like an update or something. I'm not sure. Mine asked me to restart my EA app a lot. EA app. Jeez, can't speak. Um. Okay, I'm not obsessed with this room. At the moment. We'll see what we can do. Um, parenthood. I like this dresser because it's kind of tall and skinny. So that's a good start. Um, get that scooted over. Oh, maybe, you know what I could do instead? What if I put this like centered? Oh, no, never mind. I hate that. I was just thinking of ways that I can make it like less. Um, because it's going to be hard to get the sim into the bed, possibly, but I think it's fine. EA app is a nightmare to pronounce. Yeah, it is hard to pronounce. EA app. EA app. <laughs> hard to say. Um, okay. Little blue thing. Sure. Does the toddler want anything else? We could probably get some more toys. We have a couple toys down there. 
We could probably put some more in here. I got you addicted to this game and now your bank account is suffering? Oh no, I'm sorry. I'm really sorry. That wasn't my intention. <laughs> I didn't mean for this to happen, I swear. Okay, colors, blue. Maybe we could put the big dollhouse or something. That might be kind of good. We could stick that in the corner. Um, anything else for a small toddler? I don't know. Am I building a house for not so very? Sort of, we're redecorating the bedrooms because the kids just aged up. Um, try, thank you for the prime sub. Uh, double not happy birthday, my friend. I don't have my harmonica. I don't really do that anymore, um, but happy birthday. Happy birthday, have a fantastic day. Um, and D, thank you for the seven month resub too. Okay, so they have that thing. I want something here, but I don't know what. Talk about bank accounts. I'm afraid you're building a nursery in real life. Oh God, <laughs> furniture is so expensive. Are you gonna, are you gonna get one of those, like, um, I've seen those YouTubers that do home makeover rooms for nurseries. They get those, like, really fancy, like, rocking chair, like, glider type of chairs. Are you gonna get one of those? Real life rocking chairs are expensive. When you get, like, the soft ones, the squishy ones. Cribs, expensive. Babies, expensive. <laughs> Everything about it, expensive. Maybe I should stop spending so much money, because we don't have that much left. Yeah, that makes sense. I mean, you'll be you'll be using it a lot, so it'll end up being worth it, I think. Um, but it's definitely a, a hard cost <laughs> to pay for. I assume that one's a rough one to uh <laughs> to pay for that. That's how I feel about our air conditioner that I have to buy this week. It's like it's it's worth it. It's worth it. We need it. It's broken. We have no choice. We knew we were gonna have to buy it, but oh my god. <laughs> Oh my god, <laughs> you know? <sighs> oh, okay, let's leave the rooms like this. We shouldn't spend too much more because I'm worried about um, overdoing it. Absolutely, thank you for the raid. Welcome in. I uh, hope you had a good stream. You caught us at a good time. We just finished redecorating. We have a, a new toddler that just aged up and our kids just became children. So um, you're kind of here at a fun time because the kids are all getting a little bit older now. All right, kid, I'm going to get you some food first. Um, your fiance's work butter glider for you? Oh, that's really good. I'm glad to hear that. Um, you're doing not so very, but not so very, but backwards. Oh, that's fun. <laughs> I've seen a lot of people do that. I love that you do that. That's pretty cool. Um, really, Minnie? Oh my god, that's so ex it's so expensive. Yeah, it's so expensive. The air conditioning units. Um, better have broke now than the middle of summer. Yeah. Well, the thing is, it was broken last summer kind of it would be like sometimes i would get off stream and the thermostat would say 80 degrees in the house um so it's been on its way out like we knew this was gonna happen um they even said when we bought the house the inspector was like yikes about the ac <laughs> um so we knew it was coming but then it wasn't as bad because of the winter so um it wasn't hot anymore outside so it wasn't hot in the house but now it's getting there again so um we are committing to getting prepared. For some reason, you are sleeping in the tent. I might buy the kids a couple school projects. Um, so we can get started with all of that stuff. Do you want to do solar system ones, perhaps? Okay, both of you. Let's go get a move on. Well, we shall get to work. Um... Needing AC in March is my nightmare. Oh yeah, it's horrible. Today, um, let's see, it's currently 76 outside, which isn't that bad. Um, it's gonna be a high of 87, 89 on Sunday. <gasps> oh no. Well, the AC is gonna be in by then. <laughs> That's good. Let me t get you that in Celsius. Um, that is exactly 31.6 degrees Celsius. Yeah. That is.
was unpleasant. Good thing you're getting it fast. Yeah, they were able to install it really quickly. I was really surprised by that, but I guess it makes sense that they have them in stock. Like, I, I figured they were gonna have to like order it and then install it. That's why I was surprised that it was so quick. But again, it's Florida. So I guess it makes sense they just have a bunch around. Um, but anyway, <laughs> yikes. <laughs> Big, uh, big adult scary expense. <laughs> Your Wonder Man keeps turning on the heat? Really? I have never used the heat in this house. I'm sorry for bringing that up. Um, yeah, and then in like peak summer, they're probably gonna run out when it gets later in the summer. So you're right. It probably is like a longer wait list in the summertime, um, but not yet. Not yet. So that's lucky. <laughs> Okay, everyone's pretty good now that we have like older kids. I'm feeling a lot better about this. Also, I think that one of the pets must have made a huge mess in my basement. So that's annoying. I can clean some of that up. Alphaba, do you want to go? Is there anything that you can do a spell on? <laughs> I'm like, should we go look and see if you can do any spells for us? Don't do that. That's bad. Um, what kind of spells should we try and work on? Anything to clean up? Oh, look! Scrubberoo. That's a good start. Maybe I can spawn some more food, too. Just get some more lined up. Let's put in the fridge. Um, oh, that's kind of scary, Christine. <laughs> Uh-oh. Alright, well, let's consider that scrubbed. Um, you want to fill the babies or the rats food too? What did we get? Oh, <gasps> I got a whole roast chicken from that Oh You know what would be fun if you played as like a spellcaster who ran like a food store like the the stuff from home chef hustle Because you could just like queue up so much stuff and then sell it for loads of money And you wouldn't even have to cook anything. You could just make magic food and then sell it It's a really helpful, um, really helpful spell. <laughs> I gotta be honest, I have been so anti-spellcaster because I was so annoyed at the world that I haven't really played with Realm of Magic that much. Um, I didn't really realize just how beneficial spellcasters could be. <laughs> um, so I, uh, I'm, I don't know, maybe I'm missing out on this. And like, you can use the Reperio spell when you craft items. Do I have one down here? No, maybe I can get you to design me something. Wait, I think I might have one in my inventory. I do, I'm wearing one, but I'm not wearing this one. Look, you can, oh, never mind. I can't repair that. I might've already done it on that. Do you want to design me some jewelry? Don't sleep yet, wait. Now, if only someone had been saying this to you for a long time. <laughs> oh. Oh, I'll go duel you. Never mind, I won't show you. Just take my take my word for it about the Reperio trade spell, whatever. Um. Anyway, sorry, I should have listened when you tried to tell me that it was fun. I just didn't. And that was my bad. I could I should have known. I should have known. Um, we don't need to duel anymore. We finished. We're almost done with the aspiration. Um, we have to just level up as a spellcaster. So doing more is good. Spellcasters are the best occult. Yeah, they kind of are. They kind of are. Okay, well, we'll do this duel so we can try and level up more. Um, we'll see what we can get out of this. Hopefully I win. I don't even know who that is. Oh! Oh, I think I won. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> Sorry. Um, anybody else here that I can talk to for some more... What magic spells am I missing? Just practical and untamed magic, yeah? So I don't need magic from you. Maybe I'll talk to... 
you about practical magic. Because then I can copy stuff. Stop sleeping! Hold on. Teleport. Teach me. Whoa. Teach me. I got it. That's the last practical one. That's good. Okay. Well, maybe... Can I, like... Always teleport, please. I don't know why I didn't have that on. Do you have to do a spell for that? Oh, God. Who's calling? Presley Morgan. I don't even know who that is. Must have been Lincoln's, like, sibling or something. Alright, I'm gonna go home now. We shall head back. Um, yeah, when you play as a spellcaster, you can save so much time. Because you basically never have to move, because you can use a transport spell. You don't have to eat or use your needs, because you can use the potion of plentiful needs. Like, you can basically play with spellcasters as a cheat if you really want to. I almost don't want to cheat that much. That's why I haven't been doing it, but you can. <laughs> you can if you wanted to. So that's kind of fun. Um, Vampire, I'm not going to be live for too, too much longer. I'll probably get off stream in a few minutes here. Um, we can start talking about plans for the next couple of days. Um, so tomorrow, I'm live in the morning always on Wednesdays. Um, so I'll be here tomorrow morning at 9 a.m. Eastern time. That's always on Wednesdays and live that time. And we're gonna play House Slipper. Weirdly, I'm gonna stream in Dan's office though. Because um, the AC people are gonna be here and they have to be in my room because the like closet with the machine is in here. So um, they're gonna have to be in here to fix it. <laughs> so I cannot stream in the morning when they're gonna be here. There's no way. Um, but I'll, I'll stream from Dan's room. But it's just gonna be kind of weird. Cause I'll be in a different place. <laughs> but um, as long as I'm not in the same room as them, it's better. Um, and uh, so if, if you get confused, that's the plan. And then I think on Thursday, Thursday is the one year anniversary of the infant update coming out. So I'll be live on Thursday. We're gonna play the 100 baby challenge, I think. Um, so that'll be kind of fun. Um, also on Thursday, I have a vet appointment with Snap in the morning. Nothing bad is happening. Um, she's just old and has kidney disease. So I want her to uh, get like checkups every six months now. So she has to go back again. Um, but that's the plan. <laughs> um, so she, poor cat, she's not gonna be too pleased, but um, hopefully they can do some tests and just check how things are going. Um, Thought you would say I was gonna start a 100 different challenge. No, we're already doing the 100, 100 baby challenge. God, I can't speak, so we won't restart. Um, on Friday, I think we're gonna do some building, Christine. Um, I've been thinking about trying to build another high school. I don't know if I should do that or not, but I've been thinking about it. So that's what's been on my mind recently, is like maybe we build a high school, but um, we'll see. We'll see. All right, I'll send all the kids to bed too. You can use this one upstairs and then go to sleep. And then you use that one. Maybe you get some leftovers and you can go to sleep. A cult high school? Ooh. I don't know what we'll do, but I kind of like the idea of starting a high school. That's going to be, if we do a high school, that's going to be like a multi-day occasion. But, um... It has been a while since we last built a high school, so I thought it might be kind of fun to give it a try again. But we'll see. Um, build a restaurant soon? Maybe. Um, I'll write that down. Let me put it so that we can remember. Um, I like the plan. That sounds like a good time. Um, okay. Well, you eat this and then you can go to sleep afterward as well. Oh, wrong bed. I was going to put you on the bottom one, wasn't I? Because it has the cloud energy. Um, bedtime? Everyone bedtime? Good. Okay. <laughs> what about a Stanley build? Maybe. I don't know. We'll have to see. Yeah, and the Stardew Valley update is next week. I am so excited about that. Um, yeah, the Stardew Valley update comes out next Tuesday, so we will absolutely be playing that when it comes out. Not again. 
James Potts? Oh no. That was our uncle. Old age though, so that's not that big of a deal. Should we go try and get it? Where did he live? Wait. Um. Would he have still been in Tartosa? No, because that's where the rest of our family li- uh oh. Maybe I put him in Copperdale. I, I have a vision of Copperdale. Oh no. We got Lincoln's grave. I don't remember where James lived. Oh, Chestnut Ridge. Oh, this might have been it. Did he have a million kids? He might have had a million kids. Let's go see. Sleep is important, but getting a new tombstone is more important. Exactly, exactly, you get it. <laughs> um, 23 months, thank you so much for the resub. And Namaste, thank you for the 10 months as well. I appreciate that. All right. Restaurant idea, Stanley's wraps to witches. <gasps> oh my God, I'm writing that down. That's hilarious. Make a sandwich restaurant for Stanley, wraps to witches. <laughs> That's really good. I'm actually jealous that you came up with that and I didn't. That's pretty good. I wrote it down. Okay, we'll do that this, this pretty soon too. Oh wait, did he not live here? Uh oh. Oh no, there it is, sorry. That's James. All right, we got it. We got it. Now we go back, we put it down. You know what I'm doing for dinner tonight? Sorry to brag, I'm making homemade pizza. I'm pretty excited about it, so. <laughs> Hope you're jealous. <laughs> we now have 283 graves, by the way. So that's not good. Who died? Our uncle James died. Um, it was our, so our Sim Moss, their mother, princess, her brother was James, James is dead. He was old though, so it's fine. It was old age. Could have been worse. He didn't like get got by neighborhood stories or anything. Um, that also means that princess wouldn't be close to dying yet if she had not died early like she did. Cause James was a lot older than her. So that's unfortunate. Okay, I'll put it over here. Goodbye, James. How come his name is so normal? Oh, like James and the giant Peach. Princess Peach. Their other sibling was Georgia Peach. Um, is there a maximum number of graves allowed on a single lot? I don't think so. Um, and if there is, we haven't hit it yet. So. <laughs> Hope not, because that would be bad. I don't think there would be though. I don't think so. Did you even feed the cow plant? I swear I just pressed feed. Oh, that was weird and glitchy. Okay, well, now is probably a good time for us to stop. This is probably a good stopping point. Um, Spell, Lauren, uh, Momo, thank you all for the resubs. I will see you all tomorrow when we're here in the morning to play some house flipper, weirdly from Dan's office, but we'll see how that goes. <laughs> I've never streamed from Dan's office before. <laughs> Um, I'm gonna have to like bring- I might need to bring my own mouse too, because I don't know if I can handle his. You know you get used to your own things, um, but we'll- we'll probably do that tomorrow. Um, and then I will go over and find someone to raid. Um, I think it might be fun- oh, you know what? Um, my friend Sav is doing the career legacy challenge, and I just think Sav is so cool. This is gonna sound silly, but whenever I see her stream, I am like in awe of her background. Doesn't that look so cute with like the whole room being pink and the lights? I always just think that it looks so pretty. <laughs> That's unrelated, but I, I just love her stream. So let's go over and say hi. We can raid Sav and, and um, play some Sims over there, yeah? Um, but thank you for hanging out. Have a great rest of your night. The US clocks did change, Ash, yeah, on Sunday. So um, I it's it might be a different time for you if you're from somewhere else, um, but it, it's currently 7 p.m. 
Um, this is when I normally end stream and when I normally go live Eastern time, but it might be different because our time difference might be shorter. Like Europe doesn't claim, change your clocks until the end of March. So um, the time zones are a bit weird until then, but um, hopefully that makes sense. <laughs> um, go say hi to Sam and I will see you all tomorrow morning. Have a great rest of your night, everybody. Um, and I'll catch you in a bit. Okay, bye.